Hey! Can I pee in my comment? Greetings, 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 greetings to every to everyone that um, has uh, logged in, and as uh, more of you are coming, all right. Greetings to you. I want you to uh, uh, let me know if you want me to speak to you. Because um, I know some of you all like to watch me. I'm like Nicodemus. Y'all like to come to me by night. Amen. And so, <clears throat> I am a guilty pleasure for a number of, oh, a number of people. Let me put the charger on. Because, of course, I didn't charge my phone like I should have today. So, let me put... Uh, um, that on. All right, so greetings, 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 greetings to everyone. Um, this chair uh, is so big and heavy. Um, you know, when you got old school French provincial furniture, <laughs> it's heavy. All right, greetings. I want everyone to, um, I want everyone to like and share my live now down at the bottom of the uh initial greeting and the subjects and things that we're going to discuss on tonight as as controversial as they may be what you see is my cash out and you see my zeal now let me say this to you and let me make something emphatically clear do not be all in my inbox. Where are you? Oh, we just want to hear from you. We want to miss you. Don't do that and you ain't never sent no donation. What you want to hear from me for? Love is what it does. All right? So let's be clear. I ain't moved by none of that foolishness. Love is what it is. Since you like Sir William so much, then you bless me. And you give to my ministry and to my work. If not, be quiet. 
Come on here. Don't tell me. Oh, I just love you. Ooh, can I take a picture? And ooh, and all of that. Hell no. You ain't you ain't giving no love offering. You don't love me. Get away from me. Either you're for me or you're against me. Oh, shit, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nothing about. Ooh, I just love you. Oh yeah, right. Reach in your pocket since you love somebody. Since you wanna, you like the work, you like the information. Then, then sew into it. Y'all don't like this kind of teaching. Let me tell me. Ooh, I just they be running up to me, my sister. <laughs> My sister, I'm gonna give my sister a shout out. My sister Sheila. We hung out. <laughs> we hung out all last week together. <laughs> we hung out all last week here together. <laughs> together. And I'm gonna tell you, when we get together, it's a, it, it is just a Right. And so anyway, so um well I don't know, it just it just stuff <laughs> stuff just happens when we are together and I don't I don't know why. <laughs> I do not know why. So anyway, we went to the mall. Well we went to the mall almost every day. But anyway, so we went to the mall one day. Went to the mall, and so I get stopped by the police. <laughs> now I got it's bishops and uh, and bishop wise in the van, <laughs> and so we hustling. We got all them fur coats and stuff, right? So we hustling. I don't wear. I don't generally wear my seatbelt, so. We hustled. She said, boy, she said, are you all right? You got, she said, where's your stuff at? Where's your life? So Sheila's trying to hustle. She's fighting. She fighting up me, come trying to put her, put her seat on. She fighting. She fighting that coat, trying to put her seat belt on. It's a, uh, I told her, I said, girl, I'm fine. I said, all my stuff is, um, is legit. And so, then Mother Bardo says, Mother, uh, Mother Bardo, she's, a, she's in the van. And so she said, well, why are they stopping? Mother says, why? Why, McCray, why is the police stopping us? <laughs> I said, I don't know. I guess he going to tell me when he comes to the wind. So anyway, and so then I just said, oh, Lord, because anyway, it was this white Memphis cop had to be looking, looking every bit of like uh, Colonel Sanders. And so, and you know, we dressed up. We coming from the funeral, so we still dressed up in fur coats and, and hats. And um, and so he stopped. And so I rolled down the I rolled down the window. Now y'all know I'm not really I'm not too much scared of the police. And so I said, "Well, why are you stop?" He said, "Well, sir, I'm stopping you because you don't have your license." <laughs> So I said, I said to him, I said, well, I thought the lights automatically came on. I said, some of when I rent these vans, and you know, I said, and you see that church sign on on uh, on the van, or where? And so he said, I said, well, I thought that they automatically come on, and then see the mall. We was at the mall, so the parking lot was so lit up. We couldn't tell. I couldn't tell whether the the. I didn't realize that the lights wasn't on. So anyway, so that was just a, a little funny thing. So greetings to everyone that is. I got this core because I don't have. I didn't fully charge the phone, so I got it on this core, 
and is fighting uh is fighting against oh, excuse me it's fighting against my um um what is you what you call this thing this stand that I have it on all right greetings to everyone greetings to you um as you come in as you come in I hate saying this but you know um I want you to uh I want you to share more so than like it. I want you to share it. I want you to share it on your page. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Go on and share. Um, go on and share the. Go on and share my live. You know, you don't always just have to like me in secret. As you come in, let me know that where you are. Um, where you are logging in from. I think I saw Jared Gerard earlier. He's from the District of Columbia. Um, I was telling you all, a lot of people were saying, ooh, when you got, well, I already kind of talked about that. They saying, ooh, when you gonna go live? You want, ooh, we just want you to go live. And oh, you wanna hear what I got to say. Okay, so let me get on on here. I have not. Um, okay, greetings. Ray, is it Ray? Ray Bishop is from Los Angeles, California. Tish Jones is from Virginia. Uh, Leonard R. Norris III is from the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection. None other than um, Philadelphia. All right, as you come on in, let, it, let me know um that you that you are uh coming into i get what you call this a room or the live or whatever so let every uh, let me know that you're coming in i want to give you a proper uh greeting and salutation melvin is here from new jersey the garden state greetings to you melvin i appreciate you for joining Oh, there go my mother, Mother Emma Howard Houston, is coming in from um, coming in from Huntsville, Alabama. Oh, there's Harcel. There's Mother Harcel. <laughs> uh, there's my baby. She's coming in from Fort Worth, Texas. Yes, 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 yes. Who else? Uh, uh, the brother Tyrese Jackson. Hey, my brother from Los Angeles, California, the city of angels. Um, am I talking right? I want you all to come in. Greetings, Tiffany Jones is in the ATL. Well, what's happening, Tiff? We are in the we reside in the same in the same city, and so um, <clears throat> everyone, Roosevelt, Roosevelt Constant the third from Memphis, Tennessee. We just left there. Oh, you know what? Maurice, you is uh, low down. Maurice D. Uh, uh, Lavender Clark, he is coming in from Chicago, Illinois. Maurice, when I was trying to get your attention and you didn't, you didn't call me, you ain't said nothing uh, to me the whole time that we was up there in, uh, in um, where were we? In Memphis, Tennessee. And so you just didn't put me down with your big fat tail. I don't know what lie you told that pretty girl and got, uh, and uh, you lied to her and made her marry you. His wife is my baby. I just love her. But anyway, Maurice is my, my y'all know MDL Clark. He didn't have so many aliases. But anyway, y'all know MDL Clark. Uh, that's my, uh, friend from Chicago, Illinois. Greetings to you, Jody. Jody uh, Bennett. You know, I'm doing pretty good not to have my glasses on. Um, uh, she is uh, a Jody. Oh, no, I think it's a gentleman. I'm sorry. Excuse me, my brother. Uh, he is coming in from Houston, from Houston, uh the freaky city in in Texas, baby. They like to, they like to screw in Texas, hey, amen. You know they get down. Derek Favors was all was all laid up in a um, 
in an old nasty motel in a trap. Ain't that, ain't that what little uh, Nicki Minaj say? I bees in the trap. I bees in the trap. Man, he was, he was down on his hands and his knees, amen, with them boys and toys and it killed them. All right. Hey, thank you. It was a little chilly. Everybody loves, uh, loves my, uh, my little beanie. I got this and I got it in, um, I got it in this color. I got it in black. I got it in royal blue. And, um, and a, what is it? I think I, I, I got it. Oh, and an orange one. I got an orange one and, uh, I got a few of these. So thank you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, it's not Sunday and I'm not in my Sunday go to meeting, but y'all know I know how to dress. Y'all, y'all, you all know that. All right. Greetings to everyone. Hey, there go my boy, uh, Christopher St. James. He is, um, logging in from, um, how can I forget? He's logging in from Fresno, um, um, California. So we got a lot to, uh, oh, Lavelle, Lavelle Griffin. Um, uh, he's another one from Houston, Texas. Oh God. Oh God! Well, we thank God that that the saints from Texas they have they have decided not to screw tonight, or at least not this early. And then they go they go you know y'all go hit it and get get with it after <laughs> after my live. <clears throat> um, but anyway, so it, right right that's what they do in Houston. They drop it low and spread it. <laughs> that is terrible. Okay, so we got a lot to uh, a lot to discuss on tonight and uh i am the um um uh, i am the uh the gentleman for uh for the um for the job so we're going to have some uh some serious discussion on tonight and i know that some people you know get up in arms about um about these types of conversations and you know these types of um of um discussions but you have to just put on your uh your big boy pants and your uh your big boy pants and your uh big girl panties and you know just going to grow up so we got several topics that we're going to discuss tonight and people want to hear my thoughts and opinions on our beloved i just can't even believe Whew, I just can't even believe, you know, just the idea that we'll never see Lou, only as she could, strut into a national meeting again. It's just, it's, it's, um, it's beyond comprehension. It is certainly beyond comprehension. And just to, and I'm going to say that, well, I want to, I, I, I want to talk about the service. I will talk about the service and, um, um, you know, I have some level of platform, so I'm going to uh, address um, just how I want to. Um, and, you know, I believe in calling names, dates, times, and places. Um, so I'm going to deal with Thursday night and also Friday. And... Um, uh, my feelings, my thoughts, and my emotions um, that were ev in invoked by um, by those uh, by those services, and some may agree, some may not agree, and that's fine. You have the ability to not necessarily agree. Some people are like, I may not be your cup of tea. So if I'm not your cup of tea, then you need to pick up you some coffee and drink you some drink that. If I if you don't like me, you don't have to be here. You don't I I had some people on on my Instagram that, you know, were being critical. I, let me tell you something about Sir William. I don't pay attention to folks that I don't like. If I don't like you, I could care less what you do. I don't. I don't want to follow you. I don't. I'm not in any kind of way interested in anything about you at all. I, I am in no way interested. I don't care what you had on. I don't care what you went to. I don't care 
anything uh, about you uh, at all. And so I just don't understand why people that have such vitriol and such great feelings of of um, disdain and dislike or displeasure or how whatever adjective that you want to use to describe it, why do you follow me? Why do you pay so close attention? And then the thing that is so interesting about it is the haters pay attention a lot of times are they're more vocal than the folks that's supposed to like you so anyway so I, I, I don't I don't get that let me say this though to you all so I can make this unequivocally clear I um, so I had this um, this foul demonic spirit in this homosexual boy that um, the picture, to my understanding, to my understanding, um, the there is a picture that was, and um, I guess I'm somewhat popular. And so uh, when I arrived, um, when I arrived, on Thursday night, um, there, I'm just Will. I'm just Sir William. I'm a, I, in the church. I courtesy drive. Um, and uh, I think highly of myself, but the Bible say that we should not think more highly of ourselves than what we ought to. So I do, you know, I do know that I'm popular and I do recognize the fact that, you know, I garner attention. Um, so immediately at the door, I drop my passengers off. I park the van and I enter Temple of Deliverance. Temple of Deliverance uh is the church and it is the cathedral um, at Bountiful Blessings. And, you know, that was the ingenious of Sister Lou. So, at the door, at the door, I, you know, they started. Can I get a picture? What have you? Fine. Wasn't necessary. Now, now at Temple of Deliverance, I thought that the pandemic was over. So I don't even know. I don't know why Milton Hawkins and them still got us wearing masks. Because if COVID ain't killed you by now, then I guess it ain't going to kill you. So I'm just, anyway. So we had to, they stopped us. Um... You got to put your face to this screen. It looks like a cell phone thing. And you got to put your face to it. And then it's, it, it, uh, um, it, uh, um, it checks your temperature. And then if, it, if your temperature is high, then it goes red and it starts beeping. If it's green, it says that your temperature is normal and you can come in and then you know, they standing up, they, you know, stand up there and you got to have a mask. And then they asked me, do you want a blue mask or do you want a black mask? So anyway, so I asked her, I told her I wanted the, um, the black mask. So then that's when people started coming and taking pictures. Then some other people came up to me and they said, go this way. So I was like, oh, okay. So I went that way and I had I did not know um, at that time that they had stopped, um, you know, they had stopped the viewing or they had stopped the 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 line for for the viewing and what have you. And so anyway, um, I can't think it was this uh, 
Elder and his wife, she is uh, really, really sweet and was, you know, friends of Sister Lou and, you know, she, you, they embraced me and asked me how I was, how I was doing and, um, and things that I saw. And I just told them, I said, I just can't believe we're here for this. And, you know, so we exchanged um, pleasantries. And so um, that was a long walk. And, you know, so I went down, walked down. And um, now I thought I did pretty good. I really did. I really, I, you know, I really thought that I, I did or, you know, handled my, um, my emotions. Um, I thought I handled it well. Uh, little to my knowledge, um, little did I know that you know, the cell phones went up, went up. And so while I was there, <clears throat> um, and let me share y'all, let me share with you all, because everyone is talking about it. And some people timed it or whatever, how long that I stood at um, and viewed Sister Lou. I was so overwhelmed you all I was just I didn't know what I was going to do I didn't know if I was going to start just screaming and hollering and I was I, I stood and I wasn't even aware you know that I might have stood there for a long time you know what I'm you you know I just I I wasn't aware of that somebody that that I that I really liked and that was dear to me um in ways that you all would never know in ways that you would probably never comprehend or understand um at one of the most difficult times in my life when I was sued by that sleaze bag Larry Shaw and uh, Bishop Sheard and I was was sued. This lady called me, whether you believe it or not, whether you think it's true or not, or what have you. She called me and thought enough of me, thought enough of me to call and check on me and ask me, was I okay? And 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 that when a lot of people in the church turned their back on me, people that I was friends with, that I was cool with, that people that I had covered and had not exposed in my blog, that I knew and had proof that 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 treated me like the stone that the builder rejected. She thought enough of me to call me and check on me and encourage me through it. And she said, you're going to get through it. She said, you're going to make it through this. And she said, you're going to make it through and you're going to be stronger and you're going to be, be better. And she said, don't you stop. She said, don't you stop coming to the meeting. She said, don't you, you know, it, it, anyway, I'm not going to go into that. So, I, well, I'm not going to, you know, divulge more of our um, personal, uh, personal things. And so, um, and in such, or as a result of such, I was stunned. I was, I was so overwhelmed that I was literally standing there viewing her body laid out. Like it was so, it, it, the finality of it, the reality of it, that this was for real, that she was really dead and that she was gone and then you know and then she looked so good she looked just like she was just sleep I mean just you know as fabulous as she would have been alive it was just I was so overwhelmed and I could not literally move I could not 
I felt like if I had moved or moved too soon, I probably would have collapsed. I probably would have fainted. That 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 was how just stunned and and overwhelmed I felt. I I I, I literally felt like I was gonna go down. And um To have that moment, um, and you can hate me. I really don't give a damn. <laughs> I, I, I really don't. I chose this and created this space. I created the whole black church blog. And now I don't care if it's some other people that do it and some other people that may have larger followers. I'm the one that started this. Be clear on that. And so, um, but, to try to use a a death as an opportunity, and I'm going to deal with that. I'm I'm going to deal with it because um, there was a controversial post that was posted by Philip Brooks, the uh, the son of the late P. A. Brooks, who was our uh, first assistant presiding bishop for a span of what 14 years that Bishop Blake was in office and he made a very emotional post and um, you know said some not so kind things um, and so we're gonna talk about it we're gonna, we're, we're gonna talk about it. and so um so on Instagram, uh, I I posted the picture on on Facebook because I'm gonna be very frank with you. I uh, and I'm gonna be transparent. I had mixed emotions about the picture. I had mixed emotions about the picture. At first, the screenshot angered me. Because I did not feel like my initial response was that I didn't feel like that moment that I needed to be made a spectacle of at that at that particular moment. And then my sister Sheila, she helped me. Um, so that was the first initial, you know, reaction. And then after she explained it to me and she talked to us, she said, bruh, she said, <laughs> you famous. And so I, I said, I, told, I, was, I, was, I was like, girl, please. Yeah. And she was like, no, for real. She was like, for real. And so she said, I was in there. I was watching people snapping of my brother viewing and you know and so and she said or she felt like you know at one point she felt like should I go down and and stand with him or you know should I allow him to have that moment and so I had that moment and it was cat it was it was screenshot and it was um, captured. So now this foul-spirited, demonic, homosexual on Instagram. I'm not going to, because, you know, a lot of times people try to pick fights with folks that have larger platforms. Because if you pick a fight and then we get ignorant and we mention their name, then they they mission is accomplished and they get followers. Because everybody wants to go over and say, well, who is he talking about? And what have you. So I'm not going to talk about the little uh, wannabe. But anyway, to say that I didn't know Sister Luke is... I mean, it's absolutely, I posted pictures of me and the lady. I mean, but it it, it, it doesn't even, it, it's not even worth or not even necessary for me to have to defend. But, um, you know, to use that and then to my understanding, 
it that went somewhat viral as well. And then the video of me standing there. And then do you know so, so what about friends sent me a screenshot uh while we sitting in the funeral or the next at the next day at the other funeral. So one of my friends sent me a screenshot and somebody posted a thing and said that some some kind of funny statement like if you don't love me and stand at at my casket the way uh, William McCray stood and then somebody else said William McCray at the casket almost took me out it was, I, it was just like anyway it was a whole lot of stuff but that's what was going on with me I was I was very much just um, overwhelmed now the the second day um, the second day I was I was prepared and Sheila and I we went down, um, we went down together and, um, and she held me up and I, you know, held her and, um, wow. So, it doesn't even sound right to say that Sister Louise Patterson is gone. It doesn't even sound right. All right, y'all. So, um, there's some stuff about our church that sometimes I don't like. And first of all, let me say this. Louise Patterson's contribution to, and her husband's contribution to the Church of God in Christ denomination is unparalleled. And it was a shame that the Church of God in Christ and that Memphis did not come out. I don't care if if her if her service was the day after thanksgiving that i will say this and you whether or not you all like it or whether or not you agree with it it is the truth bishop gilbert earl patterson put the church of god in christ on a world wide stage and platform. People know of us as an organization because of him and because of that worldwide telecast. People that was not even saved, people that were not even Church of God in Christ, you watched on BET on Sunday morning, you watched Bobby Jones and you watched uh, Bishop Patterson's uh, uh, telecast, period. If you were black, if most black folks, most black folks watched Gilbert Earl, GE, as she said, brings good things to light, watched that man's telecast. And as a result of the six years that he was our presiding bishop before he died, our worldwide uh, recognition, our worldwide presence, our worldwide name was elevated as a result of him. What church have you ever seen has start out with a full orchestra playing? And drapes come come back. No, you had not you had not seen holiness and sanctification displayed on that kind on that kind of level ever prior to him. When you saw when you saw you said they have a church like this, they got white folks and with 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 harps and and with 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 uh, a full a full orchestra a full orchestra starting out to serve who does this who first of all what church got enough money 
to bring in people that that, that we, on a weekly basis to do that. No, I mean, we did not see. And you ain't, and, and then, and then whether you like it or not, you don't have anybody. You don't even, you don't even, and, and you all are going to be mad. But Jake's service is not executed with the level of excellence and class that, that, that GE's service was. And a lot of that was not just him. It was that diva that he was married to that, that, that provoked and encouraged him to do and raise the bar. And raise the, the the level. You don't see. Jake's ain't got no full orchestra. And, and got curtains sliding back. When he start over there at the potter's house. You have not seen that. Sarita and none of these other first ladies. Can even stand. A, a stand. Not, 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 not even next to. She even brought a value. People didn't even pay attention. Or. Really, you, they, you, you was just the pastor's wife. You was just, you know, they didn't even, it wasn't until Lou was our, um, was our national first lady that anybody paid attention or gave uh, a, a, a flying stick at, at the first lady. We was looking for Lou more so than we was. Bishop Pastor come in with the staff. Oh, forget him. We want to see when Louise walks in. And she was beautiful and tall and statuesque. Even the she was the 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 the, the baddest first first lady in the in, I would say, dare say the world. And people just did not, we we did not pay, and we did not come out for her. And it's a sad testament to our denomination. That that church. Uh, Temple of Deliverance should have been packed out. And then I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this and they not going to like it. All of those members of Temple of Deliverance that said that they love Bishop Patterson and that they should have come out for his wife's funeral. If just the members, they was at one time had 8,000 members. I don't know what they down to now. But they at one time had 8,000 members. And if you was at one time a member, if you wasn't a member but for 10, 15 minutes, Thursday night, you didn't have to take off work. Thursday night, you should have had your tail at that church to bow and show respect. And then that mass exodus. Yeah, it was a, it was a long time. But when you have a person that's lived, dated for years and have a, 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 what is a few minutes? What you had to do, you had to get hundreds of people getting up at one time. What you got to do, rush home so you can go to bed? You can't even, you can't even sit and, 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 and give honor for two or three hours. For somebody that has had a full life and a full legacy and a full contribution. That college, the College of Bishops should have been full and packed. You shouldn't have been able to get in there. That whole section and that side, that side where Diane was with all them, all those, with those few handful of bishops wives, those bishops wives should have broke their neck and made it to Memphis, Tennessee. And it's a travesty and a shame that we did not come out and that we did not honor and that we did not do we did not give uh her the 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 homage that she deserved. That church should have been packed. You shouldn't have been able to get in there. It should have been like when Bishop Patterson died and the police and the, 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 the fire marshal said that it was that it was closed down, that you couldn't come in there. They should have had to have a, 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 a teleprompter over in the Family Life Center. Just as she said, it was nothing on that corner. It was nothing. It was nothing there. And everything that they purchased, they own outright. 
and they built on there and built on that property. And then for 15 years, for 15 years to keep his telecast and, 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 and to go through, uh, um, I, 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 you know, I just get so overwhelmed just thinking about it. But for 15 years to keep his broadcast on, on alive and on television is absolutely incredible within within and within and of itself. That level, I mean, she could have done a number of things that she may have wanted to. She could have gone out and 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 and, and vacate, had vacations, and she could have done a whole lot of things. She went through his sermons and selected his sermons and kept that broadcast and his name alive for 15 years. And that deserves recognition. That deserves in and of itself. What of what of the first lady? Okay, since y'all since y'all wanna since you wanna go there, name me another first lady that has done that, whose bishop's husband has died. Some of y'all, some of these first ladies weren't even able to hold a husband's church for two years. And she was there. How many? How many of them have held that was able to hold their husband's work? So that was Thursday. Also, I'll tell you something else I didn't like. I don't like this about our church. And I know we understand and we know protocol. But in some instances where there is no level of dislike and conflict, you should not, you should, you should have enough intestinal fortitude to say, Bishop so-and-so, uh, Whomever so and so, I decline. I decline taking this um, opportunity. There was some unresolved issues and situation, and you stand. I thought I, I it, it was some of them that I just wanted to vomit. And I was, it was torturous to stand, to sit there and have to hear some of them speak over her, over her remains. So anyway, so that was Thursday night. And as if Thursday night's crowd and, 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 and was not bad enough, Friday was even worse. And I think it's horrible. And, and people can describe it and say what, what, however they want to say or, or, or make whatever comments that they want and whatever level of commentary. It was, it, it was, an, it was, it was hor hor horrific. Women that are supposed to be and you want to come in with your hat on? Nobody was doing that. Nobody was. Nobody was checking for you as no first lady. Nobody. Nobody was paying attention that much to 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 uh, to first ladies. It was all about. It was all about the husband. Nobody was. Nobody before that woman. It was. It was not. J.L. Patterson was married to, to, to Bishop Mason's daughter. Nobody was checking for her. She was up there with the in, in a robe with the choir. Nobody was paying attention. Everybody wanted, if you wanted to put on a hat 
You wanted to put on a John and you wanted to, if you, if you wasn't nothing, some of these, some of these bishops wives and some of these, uh, and you got one right down here, her got have a husband having church in the holiday Inn. You strutting around in a Shelly McDowell and a St. John walking in a Holiday Inn hotel room. You wasn't paying, nobody wasn't paying attention or caring nothing about you before, before Louise. And y'all can say whatever y'all want to say and not admit it. It's the truth. And that's what I speak over here. And first ladies throughout the dawn, it should have been a sea of white. That bishop's wives circle. We got over three hundred. Whether they, whether your husband was dead or alive, that bishop's wives circle should have been packed. They should have had two. They should have had two bays of of, sec, of sections in there with all the bishop's wives and 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 first ladies. You want to be a first lady? You want somebody to recognize your, your ugly tail? Talking about you as a first You should have been there to, to pay homage to the woman that created that space for you. So, it was horrific. It was horrible. And we did not come out. We did not come out. Y'all can call names of people that didn't. I'm not calling. I'm not calling. I have not called anybody's name. That did not that did not show up. I'm expressing my thoughts and my opinions. Now y'all can call specific people if you want to. You won't be able to go back and and say on my live that I said any specific person's name. I said the bishop's wives circle. The full, the full cabinet. If you was a bishop's wife, you should have been there. Now, this is another thing that I didn't, and I, and I don't know, and I haven't talked to anybody to, to stand there. They, there was, there was no, now, and when a supervisor dies, there are women that stand at the casket that 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 guard the body. Now, I don't I don't know if y'all do that for I don't know if we do that for first ladies or not. But that didn't happen. So that was another thing that I that I that I thought about. And then I thought about the 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 folks that was on program anyway. They were not there. They were not there. We could have done better. Sister Lou deserved better. Her level of contribution and 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 her husband's level of contribution deserved more more appreciation and respect than what we showed her. But, and don't tell me about being right behind Thanksgiving and right after convocation. These bishops, they live off the off of the people anyway. Your first lady got that hat on and, a, and, and, and whatever little outfit she got on because of the offering that the people give. The people are, are make you realize the life that you have. The congregation and the folks sitting in the pews and the ones that's rallying and selling chicken and selling and frying fish and selling dinners, they make the life that you live possible. So you don't tell me nothing about no money. Most of them are sitting up and, and, and got plenty of it. And all you and uh, and if all you had to do, you if you didn't have if you didn't have it, all you had to do was stand. You had two weeks. All you had to do was stand up and tell your congregation, "Hey, Sister Lewis died. I need y'all to take up an offering. We got to go to Memphis." You do that for everything else. 
You was a national officer. You got a national position. You should have been in place. This wasn't just no, 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 lotty dotty, just any and everyone, per, a, 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 anybody that had died. It was awful. All right, so that um, that uh, is uh, my. How long have I been on? Um, oh my gosh, I've already been on an hour. Greetings. Um, I, you, you know, some of you I are saying comments. I apologize. Hopefully, um, Chris. Hopefully, uh, you can uh, note some of these. Uh, some of these uh, comments uh, is, uh, is Chris St. James is still on and uh, hopefully you can note those for sale. Um, hopefully you all, uh, hopefully you're paying attention to some of the comments and some of the significant ones that we can, um, that we can go, go back at the uh, latter part of the, um, of the um, live and we can um, discuss and um and i can um, speak to them and and address them because a number of, and then to also i'm down uh in here okay thank you chris says he's got them all right so the ones that are significant and i don't even have my glasses on so the ones that are significant we'll do that let's get into this i want to say i want to uh um i'm i'm i'm, I'm going to clarify <laughs> I'm going to clarify something. Another thing for Church of God and Christ people. If you're hashtag Kojic for me, if you're, especially if you Church of God and Christ, hashtag Kojic. I don't see it rolling. I said hashtag Kojic, if you, especially if you are part of the Church of God and Christ. I want you to I want you to hashtag because I, I I'm going I'm going to say something specifically to people that are uh, are a part of the Church of God in Christ. All right, I want to make because uh, some of you have uh, uh, are slow to understanding. All right, Todd is hashtagged. It okay? Come on, Keith Christie. Hashtag it. Let's hashtag Church of God in Christ. Hashtag Koja. Come on through here. If you are a part of um, the Church of God in Christ, Clifton, uh, if you are Kojic, I want you to hashtag it. I want you to hashtag Koja. I want you to hashtag. I'm a, I'm coming down to full gospel. I'm co I'm coming. I'm coming down. I, I'm just hold your horses, Royal. I'm coming down. Is that Royal from Virginia? Is that is that uh, Royal from uh, v Virginia? All right, Gary Pran. Hashtag if you are a coach, because I'm gonna say something specifically to you, to you all, because y'all got to y'all slow of understanding. And y'all need y'all need a good under uh, understanding. Um, I'm I, royal. I'm coming to deal with that. I'm coming to deal with it. I am coming to deal with it. Hashtag hashtag c o g i c. Okay, so let me say this to you all that are coaching, okay? Um, and just before, just before, I want to remind you, and uh, O.C. Hollis, you Baptist, whoever Hollis is, see, you ain't saved. You can't, you, you can't live nothing. Okay. Had, but just before I say this to you, the Cash App is down there and the Zelle is down there. Go on and send your love offering before you get mad and don't want to send. <laughs> before you get mad and don't want to send nothing. Uh, but no, I, re I really want you to send something. But um, before, uh, let me say this to you. You all, we live in an information 
and technology driven society. Okay? That is just the reality of it. Okay? It is no more <laughs> waiting for the who takes the newspaper anymore? Do you do you take do do you don't even have where children and young guys have a, a, a newspaper route. No one is taking the paper any, in, anymore. We live with information and social media and technology. That's the reality of it. And so the moment that a public figure or a known person dies or something major happens with them and someone clicks and posts it to social media, you need to stop this foolishness like you the social media police and then tell the family. And I'm so sick of hearing that foolishness. If they wasn't informed that they love when it's dead, then that's what the social media was supposed to do. It was supposed to inform them that there has been a loss in their family. And just like, just like how Vanessa Bryant found out that her daughter and her husband was killed in that, in that, uh, when that helicopter crashed, that's the same way. Don't get on nobody's post with your ignorant self and try to correct them and tell them that you should wait. And posting, they are gone. The moment that I find out the information, I am posting it, and because I am a news and information source, and nobody is big enough and bad enough and gonna check me and and stuff. Don't put something under underneath there and underneath. Nobody is taking it down. You should wait and tell the fan. Well, no, no, no. We're, it, let me let me inform you. No. The moment that you took a national position, the moment that you became a a a a a, a nationally recognized individual, that was the moment that your privacy was was no longer. I'm a blogger. I can't get mad somebody stand and want to take a screenshot and take videos of me at the at a casket. Who how many of y'all got a, uh, over a thousand people watching you? I can't get mad about that. If a, if, if a man was a, a, a noted person, a preacher of, of note and something and something has has transpired or happened, you can't control you who you can't control somebody saying and mentioning it. What you gonna do? You gonna be the and let me say this. Let me say this, and y'all not gonna like it. Our denomination is too large, and it's too many people. If you go, if we have scribes, and if we have uh, uh, national people, there should be somebody that's on post. The moment somebody died, within about an hour, 15, 20 minutes, that announcement should go out. Waited 48 hours to tell that Louise was dead. It was two days. And that is inexcusable. Everybody, everybody got this. Don't you have technology in your hand? Can't you, can't you, don't you have technology? Can't you call a Uber? Can't you call a, 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 a Lyft? Can't you get a, 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 a hotel room and, and an Airbnb and everything? What else do these phones do? What else do they say? Don't they give you notifications? You can go, you can put an app on your phone if you want to have sex. If you want to have sex and find out who all is horny within a five mile radius, they got an app for that. They got an app. They you got YouTube on here. You got uh, you got social media on here. You got everything that you need is at your fingertips. It is no excuse for it to take forty eight hours for somebody to print out those letters. Should already be named. Should already be uh, typed up. All you got to do is tweak it. All you got to do. 
All you got to do, do, do is, is, is tweak it. Drop that uh, uh, cut and paste. Take that name out. Put this name in. Put a few little, a few little contributions. One, two, three. Major contributions. Go on. It, it's no re. It's no excuse. It's inexcusable. What you a bishop for? What you got a national position for? Please. You want to say, oh, you should wait till the family. No, ain't nobody waiting. If the family wasn't informed, then that's what the, that's what the hell Facebook was supposed to do, was inform you. That now you what? You are informed because we told you. He was coming on live and in my end, like you shouldn't say, you shouldn't uh, say, why? Why, 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 why shouldn't we say it? What are we saying? It's nothing disrespectful. The, 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 the person has, has, has passed away. They, uh, they, they have, uh, they have unfortunately, uh, uh, died. What, what, what is wrong with disseminating the information. You want somebody to know that you having a chicken sale. You want somebody to know that you that 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 over in that little storefront church that you got with them folding chairs and them them little twenty members looking like a Sunday school class. You want them to know that you got your anniversary coming. You want them to know that you got your 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 uh uh appreciation coming you want them to know about your little tacky revival and some demonic homongering preacher or or, or a whore uh, that's coming uh to 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 preach it you want them to know that so why can't we know something that is worth knowing why can't we know something that is that that is important to know Somebody that we like, somebody that we respected, somebody that we admired, somebody that we looked up to has gone on to be with the Lord. You got your little, you got your little chicken dinner. You got your chicken dinner. You want somebody to look at, at, at the picture with your nappy headed child looking like a baboon or a gorilla. You want us to see that. You want to, you want us to see all this other stuff. Why you don't want us to know something that matters, something that is of importance. Why, why you don't want us to know? That's what's important. Oh my God, so and so, so and so has passed. Has passed. Oh my word, this is so unfortunate. This is so. That's what you want people to know. Oh, I went to such and such restaurant and I had a sandwich and I did such and such and such and such. You want to put up a thing. Isn't that tacky? I think it's so tacky when y'all put up those things. I'm available. If somebody wanted your ugly behind to come and preach at their church, they would call you. You ain't got to put up a thing about you available. That's why you available because we don't want you to come. That's why you don't have no dates. That's why you got to post a flyer. If anybody, don't ever post a flyer talking about you available. If you ain't getting no calls and ain't getting no, and ain't, ain't getting no appointments, that's because your ass ain't no, ain't good. We don't want to hear you sing. We don't want to hear you preach. We don't want to hear you do nothing. You stay your tail at home and keep practicing. I'm available for engagement. I'm available for for uh, concerts and whatever. We do not care. We know that the, the, you are not wanted. We don't want you to come. You cannot sing. You cannot preach. Nobody is calling you or inboxing you. No one cares. That's why you available because you are not good. Amen. Because if you was halfway good, you would you, <laughs> your 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 dates would be full. Your calendar would be full. I'm available. You 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 set it up. Look it up at the look it up at God. Look it up at the heaven. I'm available. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who cares? You keep on being available. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So anyway, unfortunately, um, uh, uh, unfortunately, um, Bishop Derek Hutchins has um, has unfortunately died. Now, to my understanding, 
Um, it was sudden and uh, some are saying that he had pneumonia. You know, if you have pneumonia um, and uh, it pulls, your heart goes into overdrive to compensate. And so, um, but it says that it, I'm not sure if the, the cause was pneumonia that caused the massive heart attack, but to our understanding, he, uh, he had a massive heart attack and um, he, uh, I was told, I do not recall seeing him. Um, some of that whole experience last week is, is just a blur, uh, for me. Uh, but some people told me or informed me that he was in fact, um, at, uh, at her service. And then, um, while, you know, we, um, we, uh, you know, learn of his, uh, learn of his death. And it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's so, it's, 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 it's just absolutely overwhelming. It, it, you know, it's just, um, it's absolutely, um, it's just absolutely overwhelming. And so it just, just seemed, um, uh, Derek Jr., um, I mean, it's it's just it's no words. We just we're we're saddened to learn of his um, learn of his um, learn of his passing, and our thoughts and prayers uh, certainly um, go out to his wife and his family. Um, and his um, jurisdiction, and also the people that um, that had enough faith and confidence in him to support and want to follow him in the attempt that the the very uh, valiant effort. Um, that he made to um, to establish another jurisdiction, and so uh, definitely want to you know recognize him for that and for and you know he he was just he was one of the I think he was one of the best that Church of God in Christ had to offer by way of by way of preaching. He was a um, a good preacher. What I liked about um, Bishop Hutchins, um, like me, uh, and some people are probably going to say, oh, how dare he compare himself. What I liked about him is that he was not without controversy. And, um, and he... Um, had some serious uh, controversies and uh, as well as um, scandals. Um, but what was the Bible says that your gift will make room for you and bring you before great men. And so I what I liked, is that he um, he was a man that stood firm on his convictions. He stood firm on his convictions. And when he was the chairman of the pastors and elders council, he was not afraid to go toe to toe with bishops in support of pastors and elders that were going through whatever level of controversy or whatever level of, of scandal that they may have uh, have been going through. One of the things that I remember him saying is that the Bible speaks more highly of an elder than it does of a bishop. And so, uh, and I talked to him because when as a result of my being sued 
um, by that sleaze bag. Um, there were some issues since, since uh, around my license, and he was very supportive, and um, and shared that um, once he got things established, that he would welcome me to his jurisdiction. So I I really I I liked um, I liked Bishop uh, Derek Hutchins. I liked that he his tenacity. I liked that he outlived. And no matter what his, you know, scandal or whatever his situation was, he he did not let that be the end of him. And he um, rose above it, um, built churches, built the, the, the church in South Carolina, then went down to Florida. There was a controversy with him and Bishop Owens. Bishop Owens wanted to put him in on a temporary basis. And then once he felt that he had grown that church and, you know, he, he wanted, they, they didn't necessarily see eye to eye. He wanted to keep the church. I felt like he was entitled to keep the church. And, you know, that, that's, that's somewhat of a legitimate argument. If you put me here temporarily and I have been able to turn it around why not let me have it? Why not permanently place me there? So you have heard probably stories about that. Now, I'm going to go on and deal with this because Philip Aquila Brooks Jr. Um, and somebody else, uh, we're still trying to find the original post. So somebody else had um, posted... Um, his picture of him in his vestments. And they said that they had some good news and some bad news. And then it said that the good news is the bad news. They had some good news and they had some bad news. Now, this man has just died. And you would take a picture of him in his vesture. And you had the unmitigated gall. to post that you got some good news and that you got some bad news. Just stay with me. I feel like I'm preaching tonight. You got good news <laughs> and you got some bad news. And the good news that you have is the bad news. In reference to a man that has just died. I'm not sure we still have not discovered who was the original person that posted that. But I want to share with you. that you got a day coming. When you can get to the point where you so bold and you so evil and you so low down that no matter what you thought about somebody in their life that you would post something as trifling and as horrible as that. Oh, you got karma? And I promise you that you got a day coming. And somebody, somebody going to post worse than that about you. 
Somebody, somebody is going to say, somebody is going to say some negative thing about you. Whoever it was, you should fall on your face. You should fall, you should fall, and just as bold as you was to make that post, you ought to make a post, and you should publicly apologize. I don't care how you felt about them. I don't care what you thought of them. If you don't, if you, you, you don't have to say and, and, and desecrate somebody's name, or uh, you, you just don't say nothing. Talk about it amongst your private, amongst your in in in, in private, amongst your uh, amongst your friends. You don't take somebody's picture. You are so evil. You so low down. You so demonic. It is 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 such a a spirit of the devil. That has overtaken you and set up habitation in you that you don't even realize that how foul and demonic you are. I wanted to say that I posted it because Philip decided that he wanted to share it. Now, I know Philip Aquila Brooks, the second or junior, well. And there's a lot about him and his personal life that I could expound upon that I'm going to choose not to. Y'all know me and follow me. Y'all know that, that Philip uh, has been on my lives before. And um, I would say at one time, I'll be very transparent. I would say that we were close friends. Um, however, again, we can go back to Kojic. We can go back to Kojic. If you go down, if you scroll down my page, uh, Mackie, you'll see it. Uh, Hutchins I want to say that it was probably approximately 20 years ago. Um, the uh, situation with that church that Bishop Owens had temporarily placed him over um, resulted in a lawsuit and resulted in the church going to the church going to court. Um, and it got heated. It got heated, and it got bad. Every one of the bishops, I don't think. I don't think at this point any of those men that was involved in that, now even Derek, um, is they're all dead. Um, it was really, really bad to the point that when Bishop Owens went down to put him out of the church, you literally had men in suits climbing over the fence to put to 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 go in because they were trying not to give the bishop and the general board access to the church it got really ugly in that uh in some of that heated time um i think that uh or according to philip Uh, Bishop Hutchins or Elder Hutchins at the time uh, 
ball got it got so heated balled up his fist and was going to um was gonna probably jump on Bishop Brooks. But see that's not the first person. That's not the first person that was going to jump on him. See, there's been a lot of people, If you since since Philip want to bring it up, there's been a lot of people that wanted to jump on Bishop Brooks. Just, just to go on and just go on and tell you, just, to, just go on and deal with the whole truth of the matter. Because to my understanding, Jesse Delano Ellis was going to jump on him too at one point. So... And, and see when you when you have these older men that are making decisions and and playing with folks' lives and livelihood, it you get emotional. You 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 get upset. You you when 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 you when you want to play games with folks' lives. Then and, and then you're gonna say, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna give it to you, and then I'm gonna take it away, and you know, you're gonna get some level of reaction. You gonna, you gonna, you are going to get met with some level of opposition. Now I'm gonna say, um, I'm I'm gonna say this to Philip publicly on my platform. And those of you that know him, you can tell him I said it. Philip is who he is because of his father and because of the church of God in Christ. The money that he's enjoying I'm going to tell y'all. He was left a, a, an apartment building that his father owned and he decided to sell it. And he got $9.5 million. He's in a mobile home gallivanting around the country doing whatever he and his wife, Crystal, decides to do. Whomever he decides to bless and treat. He's bought folks cars. He's bought folks boats. He's bought and did things for, for people that don't care and give a damn about him. And I'm saying it here. He done bought BBLs for folks. He gave somebody that I won't tell name. He gave her $30,000 and that heifer did not even know who his daddy was. I can call the roll because I know it for fact. He didn't even have a debit card and didn't even have a doggone active checking account for them to deposit the money when it went through escrow, when the, when the sale went through. I'm talking facts and not fiction. I called him. I went out. I I went out there when he sent for me. I went out to L.A. and spent time. I won't say where he was, but I went out there and I spent time with him. I called him in tears. I said, "Faith is getting capped." Your sister is going to be the supervisor for the jurisdiction that your father gave his life to. I said, it would be fitting. You have enough money. You have enough money to come and see Faith get her cap and, and, and get capped. He didn't even show up in Memphis. So, and what I will say to you, Phil. Is that if you want to continue the legacy, get yourself straightened out and get yourself in a place where Bishop Hicks can appoint you your daddy's church 
and you can continue his legacy. Instead of wanting to post on a dead man that died and you want to talk about uh, him raising his fist to your dad, then why don't you continue his legacy? Why don't you step to the plate instead of posting that? Post that. Y'all don't like this kind of teaching. And can't nobody debate me because I know truth and I know fact versus fiction. You running around in a winner in, 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 in a in a Winnebago. You running around buying BBLs and it's folks starving and it's folks sitting up homeless and it's folks going hungry. You could have started. You could have started a foundation. If you don't want to preach and continue uh, and, and, and be in the church, I was the reason that you got yourself together and that Bishop Brooks finally ordained you. I said I called him and I told him. I said I said it makes no sense. For these other men to be running around with your father. Your father's the first assistant presiding bishop of this church. And you got him running around with other with other guys. Instead of you being his son and being his adjutant. He said, you know what, Will? You right. Got himself straightened up. And he, with the last three years of his father's life, he traveled with him as his adjutant. I'm not saying I'm not saying stuff that I don't know. I'm saying stuff that I'm talking about that I know for fact. For fact. And he's given hunks and chunks of money to people that don't give a damn about him and didn't even know who his father was. And the only reason why you got it is because of what of of who he was and, and his labor in the in the church. So and that's the truth. And so that's unfortunate. And I understand. I understand we we are a part of an organization that and perhaps maybe uh there's there's something that can be established because after your daddy the bishop or after your husband the bishop die and you walk behind that casket we throw you away we don't care all but see that's why the bible say you got to wear those titles and positions like a loose garment you've got to establish yourself and if you don't pay attention and if you don't establish yourself while your loved one is alive, then when they die, no, who, who cares? You need to be establishing yourself as a preacher, as an evangelist, as a as a this or as a as a, a as a that. I got a friend right now in the church. Her daddy was the bishop, and her a grandma. Was the was the supervisor? She wasn't even a district missionary when they died. I said, I said, how do you, how are you not a, even a district missionary? How you haven't even put yourself in place and in position to catch the baton? Please, please make yourself a force to be reckoned with where it don't matter. <laughs> Where, where they got to deal with you. They got to recognize you. All right, y'all. Anyway, so that with that, um, that's what I wanted to say about that. Let me get into um, so there was a ram uh, a rumble. There was a rumble um in um New Orleans. All right, so this is the um this is the T. Uh y'all can hashtag full gospel. Um, so we have gotten word through our street committee and that, uh, that Bishop Paul Sylvester Martin and, uh, Bishop Joseph Walker are boom and odds. So I've been trying to find out. Who is the person that Bishop um, 
Walker wants to see consecrated a bishop, um, that Bishop Martin does, is adamantly and vehemently against. I have not been able to, as of this time, find out who this uh, person is. Um, however, they got into it because he does not want to see them uh, consecrated. Now, to the interesting thing, Daryl Brister, who I believe, I guess, is the first assistant presiding, um, for Full Gospel, for he was conveniently... Um, persona non grata. He was con uh, uh, conveniently absent and was not uh, present to vote and break the tie. So that's one. Now, Paul Sylvester Martin is trying to be clever and he wants the bishops to vote and determine that Joseph Walker cannot run to be uh, to serve us uh, uh, to get a third term as the presiding bishop of Full Gospel Baptist, he wants to say that he has served two ther two terms, and that that's it. Now that's what we thought too. We thought that the man retired, but it seems like every time he decides to retire, then he gets back up. Now I'm gonna just say this: Paul Martin ain't been right since he had that nervous breakdown over there at Neil Ellis Church and he was crawling around in the pulpit like uh, on all fours like a like a baby and when he had and that's why he talks like this <laughs> because he's not I don't think that he is mental health and that he's all the way well and I think that that's why he does that strange weird sounding talking <laughs> when he's talking. I can't stand here and talk. Uh, and I, we was at, uh, where, oh, we were at, um, we were at uh, uh, Bishop uh, Stephen B. Hall. And it was so crazy because we was at Bishop Stephen B. Hall's funeral. And he, Joseph Walker was presiding. And every time he would get up to give some level of instructions or give the order or of, of the service, Paul Sylvester Martin's got to jump up and interrupt. And so finally, Bishop Walker just retreated and sat down and let Sylvester... I mean, I, I have never seen somebody so insecure. And I was like, is, 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 are you... The thing now, full gospel is on life support because the last convention that they had, it was so small that their national convention, they was all able to get up in Greater St. Stephen's. Okay, that's here we go. You Quan DeAndre Williams. <laughs> Yaquan DeAndre Williams is the person that Paul does not. That's the name. That's the name. That's the name. That's. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, but I thank God. I, th I knew if I talked about it longer. Enough. So it's Dequan. Um. Right. The past two. Major events was held at Paul's church, and it was enough room in Greater St. Stephen's for everybody to come. Then they just had something here in Atlanta, and they didn't even, um, they had it over at uh, Craig Oliver's church. And Craig Oliver's church on Sunday morning had more people there than the folks that came. They had something called Propel, and they stayed over at the... Uh, they didn't even meet their quota on their rooms over at the Marriott on Best Road by the airport. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, full gospel is is on. I think it's on his last leg. Now, this is the thing that what they that he wants to do. He is now trying to come back in 
and he's trying to establish a general board for full gospel. And he's going to put uh he's going to put his um son-in-law over the general board. So how are you going to do that? How? Just absolutely ludicrous. Hold one second. So, absolutely absolutely ludicrous the whole the whole thing and the whole situation the whole thing and the whole situation so and it's seemingly on life support at at best At best. At best. So, I'm just trying to figure the whole aspect of it out. And how is it going to survive? And how how is it going to have two and three leaders and who is making the determination and making making the overall decisions just who is it is Joe the leader or is he not who's 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 running the show? Can somebody tell me? Can you? Who 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 is it? All right. So that is one. Um and then so let's get back. Let's get back to the Church of God in Christ. So y'all remember the the great announcement. Y'all remember the great announcement that the president of the evangelism department, uh, Gary Sprewell, was. Um, was made the pastor. Now, Bishop James Wright in Rochester, New York, that got uh, Bishop uh, Leroy Anderson's old jurisdiction before Leroy Anderson um, moved to Phoenix. He got the jurisdiction and he um, uh, uh, got the jurisdiction, but he had his own church. So anyway, so Bishop Wright has decided that he wanted to retire. And um, and so in his desire to retire, um, he got a pastor. Or they were supposed to have a committee and they were, you know, supposed to make a determination as to who it was supposed to be. Or they were supposed to take a vote. So now, according to some of my sources, they never knew whether or not a real vote was taken. And they never got the full details on numbers of 
you know, this person got so many numbers or so many votes and this person got so many. So they never did get the full, never did get the full details. They said Bishop Wright just said, okay, this is going to be the pastor. Well, it seems that Bishop Wright has not been in agreement and has said that Gary Sprewell was a crook and that Gary got a hold to the church's checkbook and has been spending ex uh, excessive amounts of money, so much to the point that Bishop um, Wright has decided to remove him as the pastor. I can't think of the name of Bishop Wright's church at the time. Maybe y'all can put that in the uh, in the comments. Um, but anyway, so that he uh, made the determination that um, that he was putting him out as pastor. Now he got the church just in August. And this is August, August, September, October, November. So what, three months? He was a pastor for three months. And now this is the inside. The inside scoop is that Bishop Sheard, the presiding bishop of Church of God in Christ, is supposedly had called and tried to intervene and plea um, Gary's case with Bishop Wright. However, Bishop Wright was staying firm to his conviction and was not backing down and said, New Progressive, New Progressive Cathedral, Church of God in Christ. That's the that's the church. Well, he's not, he was not backing down, and he said that Sprewell had to go. He stood firm and was not. So now um <laughs> I think that they're trying to create a narrative saying that some other things transpired and that, you know, he wasn't really going to be able to travel and evangelize like, like, you know, like he wanted to. And that's why, you know, that he was going to, you know, have to, um, you know, step down as pastor. Okay. Well, we knew that. And we knew that you was a evangelist and that you was the president now of the evangelism department. We knew that when you took the church. Am I talking right? I'm just saying. I am just, I'm just saying. So anyway, so that's the, um, that's the, uh, that's the T on that. Oh, let me see. Okay, so let's see who. Let's see if we got. Um, all right, where uh, I'm ready for. I'm ready for. Okay, here we go. Let's see who's here. <laughs> it's getting ready to get good now. Uh oh, William Reverend. Reverend, how are you? I'm well. Wait a minute. Let me give us stuff. Let me give us stuff. <laughs> Ain't that what, that's what Bridget say. Bridget say, let me give us stuff. Let me give us yeah. stuff. Get your stuff. Get your stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. He got his mm -hmm. way. He got his way. He got his way. Wait a minute. I'm getting it together. Let's get it together. Oops. I had to come and sit on the bed and kick. I tell you, you, you walk through the garden at night. <laughs> 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 oh, my 
but <laughs> what's up, my brother? You, you talked right about um a uh, uh, lady Louise though. They, they definitely should have been more people there. I was oh, looking at been. that. Yeah, it should have been. It 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 it, it should have been without question. It you yeah. know it just it just um, it was it was it was horrible. Yeah. It was and it was such a poor reflection on on us as a denomination yeah. and you know as an organization and like i said i mean you know people were not you know you might have said oh this is my first lady blah 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 but people were not they weren't checking for first ladies before louise became our or the first lady of our church they just just the <coughs> honest to god true right you know right. it's it's just and and even if the men did not come in the numbers that they should have, the women should have definitely been there. She's question. the only first lady that I actually re remember. What well, you know, I, I, I can't remember like Owens and Ford, and she's the only one that I remember. Exactly, yeah. and okay. and she was, and you you didn't even, you know prior to her you didn't even pay attention to them they sat up there next to the supervisor but you didn't you didn't pay attention to them no you know no. and uh and mother owens uh now now she she would look nice but she was not she was just a very different type of woman mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and and then um you know, Deborah uh, Mason Patterson, she was, you know, she sang and was in the choir and in a row. Mm. And then, mm. and then Mary Pete, who he married after, uh, after uh, uh, Deborah Mason died, you know, she, I think she was the first lady, maybe, maybe uh, uh, three or four years. Mm. And she traveled, she would travel from Memphis to the convocation on uh, on Amtrak and with all her stuff and a hefty uh, garbage bag. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I know. I know because I needed I need one there at the uh, Pick it up. station of <laughs> I was like, girl, why you got your stuff in this trash in these trash bags? I couldn't oh even believe goodness. it. Is mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mother Lou would have never, never. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh God. They drive well, you know, you, you know, Gilbert didn't like to fly, so yeah. that's why he had that big bus. Mm -hmm. He had that that mm -hmm. big mobile bus. Oh. And yeah. and that would follow him. And that limousine. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you know she she traveled by limousine when he was presiding bishop. Well, hey, yeah, that was it. That was it. They, <laughs> they, 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 they was they were bad. They were bad. So, yeah, they, they was were. bad. That was my girl. That but was you handled girl. yourself well. I thought she was gonna cut up and really go viral. But you, you I did. really <laughs> <laughs> don't make me laugh. I'm serious when I was standing yeah. down there. Like, I could not move. Like, I mm -hmm. really could not move. Like, dude, if 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 I had moved, I think I would have fainted. Yeah. I think I would have collapsed. And mm -hmm. that would have been, that would have been mm -hmm. a mess. Mm -hmm. You know? And so, I don't know, man. It was just like, I mean, I know people they're going to talk or whatever, and they're not going to like, and, and that's fine. But, yeah. you know, well, at, a moment at least you like were that, there. You know, you had other bloggers who were trying to push out false information, give information. They wasn't even there. They when wasn't are even they there. Ever, when are they right. ever present? Calling the Aunt Lou, uh, those of us who know her. But you wasn't even there. Oh, wow. See, I, I'm, I'm going to be quiet because I don't know. I don't follow the other folks. And so, <clears throat> but, you know, 
you got to have some change or create a way to have some right. change to Just keep up it. with the church of God in Christ. You do. Because, <laughs> baby, this is the church of God in cash. <laughs> somebody, so got... said, somebody said it was the church of God in Clark's. Hmm. You think so? <laughs> I, I don't, they were just being I, nasty. Yeah, I don't know. But mm. oh, I got to deal with that clothing thing. You know, I'm. I was. I was waiting for Sister Lou to get in the ground before I do my best dress, worst dress. <laughs> um, <laughs> folks have already started sending me some pictures, and so <clears throat> I've. I've got to. Woo. What if you I just didn't know. think about the services, actually, you know, because it seemed kind of solemn to me. It, you know what it shows me? They don't have church like GE used to have church at Temple of Deliverance no more. And that's gone because they had church at Temple of De Deliverance. Yeah, they used to have church. Um, there, I'm going to be frank with you. There was a heaviness. Yes. Yeah that I could not understand. There was a there was a heaviness um um at both services. No and oil. I really couldn't understand. Shout why. Gail. Yeah, no oil baby. <laughs> I, I I could not I really could not I I I just did not now I will say this. Uh, um Lou had at her moments that she would put her hand on her hip and maybe strike out and speak in tongues. Okay. But okay. but she was not, you know, jumping and shouting and hooping and hollering, you know, kind of a first lady. So I expected yeah. her service yeah. to yeah. be or reflective of who she was. So I didn't expect it to be a whole lot of that. But I think that Milton should have made that service as close and as 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 possible to what Temple of Deliverance services used to be. You know what? You they, know what he what should I have heard? had an orchestra. That's right. He should have had That's right. and er, yep. everything the way Gilbert did it. Right. That should have been the way that it was executed. And then, now I understand that we got the screens now. I understand that we got the screens. But... Was the choir behind the screens? No. The choir, there was a praise team that came up. Uh, and they had mics, and then the yeah, choir was that. off to the side oh, in so, one of those yeah. bays. Okay. Uh, and so I thought that that was horrible. I think that yeah. even if they were going to do it like that, they should have they should have had to come down and assemble and be mm -hmm. full full voice. Mm -hmm. But that screen, that that LCD screen, um, is now in, in front yeah. of the choir stand so that's why that whole that's why that whole platform is so much smaller than what it was before so that could have i don't know if that should have been raised because that could have been you know that could have been up and then the choir could have been but it just hey, i mean it wasn't it wasn't even a it, it should have been a national choir. And then what you call yeah. it wasn't there. Who? Yeah, what was uh, 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 Myron? I guess he was somewhere with you having a glass of wine. No, he, he, he was on vacation. He really was. He, he posted it. He was out on, on the beach somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are they naming names, Kath? Uh, yeah. Ooh, and, uh, <laughs> I don't even want to say that. Y'all, I'm still in this <clears throat> church, but I didn't even want to say. She was horrible. She was horrible. I, I it, It's like, and then why did he put her up there? I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't I know. know why they put her. I guess maybe because she, because Louise was the first lady and his wife is the first lady. 
I don't know. And then they came behind and they put Yolanda up, who's his district missionary. Yeah. And she tried to, there was, you know, there was nothing rebu- there. There was nothing there with her either. It, yeah. Only, and I only, like Yolanda. Let me tell you, the only thing I felt, Mother Kelly was funny as usual. You know, she she was within the guidelines. She didn't go too far off, so she was fine. But Marvin Winans was the one for the Marvin brought it in. Marvin, but of course, Marvin was Hines good. That down I quick. enjoy. I enjoyed uh, Jean. Oh, is that I enjoyed friend? Which one? Was uh-huh. That's the one Jean? that had the stroke because you know she was with the the twins all the time. Was she? And that's the one talking that had down. The stroke. She was at the bottom talking. And she was at the at her seat. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right then. Yeah, she was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she yeah. talked about when they was is that uh Lou was gonna put her in the poor house trying to keep up <laughs> Right, Lou. Right. Don't be don't I keep enjoyed, up with the Joneses. I, I enjoyed mm-hmm. her thoroughly. But um it was just it wasn't reflective of, of her level of of contribution. It was just it, yeah, it just yeah. and the even our national service, the national service was dry. It was, you know? it was, it was, but like it I was. Said, Marvin, and I didn't. Marvin. But you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't like that song that Marvin sang. Well, I mean, I've heard him sing that song. He does that medley with his praise team. Now they rock that thing. Uh, but it may not have been a hundred percent, but it was better than what was being presented. But Hines came right behind him and said, "Let the church say yes." Now Daryl was, was good. I mean, I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna tell you that light skin uh, girl that sang that V. Michael McKay song. Uh, that was yes, the big old girl good. from Jesus. Houston. Yeah. She was good. Jesus, yeah. geez, she was good. And then I'm gonna tell you that girl with them horrible extension braids that was almost. <laughs> Don't you talk about murder suburbs. <laughs> Every one of those braids was like an inch away from each other. They was running away from each other. They was gone. Oh my gone, God. Gone. I was like, why would she even do that? She should have just put on a wig. That's but not she sang, slapped she, a hat on, a wig. Uh, something. Because she, she, she sang before <coughs> you preached. She yeah. sang. She sang. should have asked Karen, can I borrow your hat for a minute? <laughs> then wasn't it horrible? <laughs> Jesus. And she came in just twisting <laughs> and dragging that leg. It's something real seriously wrong with her leg. Oh, with her leg. Yeah. yeah. That emphedema, whatever it is. I mean, it, 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 yeah, she would just be dragging that poor thing. She'd be dragging that leg. Mm. Yeah. I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to even touch it. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to just give you a hint. Uh-huh. Have you ever seen a picture of them of those two together? Which two? Lou and Karen. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 As much as many pictures as they both have taken. Mm. Mm. Not with together. other people, you have never seen one. No, <laughs> I just mm-hmm. want to be clear because I wonder: do people really like me? Do they sit back and really pay attention? But, but like them? you said, there was a lot of undercurrent stuff going on, and you can tell because there was no spirit. Everybody yeah, you could was feel, like, you could, you could, you could cut the tension yeah. with a knife. Yeah. You could cut it. Yeah, everybody. It, it was. Everybody was like. Let me do this because I have to do this. But it's, it, it, let me tell you, I don't care what any of them say. I feel the spirit to this day turning on G.E. Patterson. Listen to, oh, yeah. And listen to um, First Lady Lou introduce him, you know, after he passed. You know, you still feel it. I couldn't feel none of that. None mm-hmm. of it. And I got the Holy Ghost. See, I'm P A W holiness. You still. <laughs> <laughs> as, as he pours the more wine, <laughs> as you take communion, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, but and you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. It made 
it made her death even that much rougher. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it wasn't a uplifting, you know, it, 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 I, I left out feeling heavy and burdened. Yeah, yeah. You know, I didn't <laughs> you leave. Know. My spirit didn't feel lifted and, oh, well, she's gone and, Oh, but it was just this wonderful certain. No, I just, I don't, I, I, I had never, I was like, are we at a Baptist church? Is this a, yeah. it, you know no, what I'm saying? I just. A M E A M E ish. Little Methodist. <laughs> it, it did. It really did. <laughs> Zion. A M E Zion. A M E. African. That's my grandma church. African Episcopal. Methodist A-M-E, Episcopal. Yeah. Whatever they are. Yeah. It, 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 yeah, it George, really. George Rod, Ray Bishop, George Rogers' funeral was the bomb. I mean, that was it. Yeah, they put, yeah, they put Joyce away. We put Joyce away at, uh, what was it, at Potter's, Potter's house. house. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But like yeah, someone said family. about Judith. McAllister being there, they should have put Judith. Judith could have brought in like, I know you don't like all what she does, but you know, GE and Luke, they were like distinguished gospel, you know. And Judith brings that. No, I'm gonna tell you who should have come. Iris. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, Iris that's Stevenson, who he mm-hmm. loved. Yeah, and that was his oh. music department president. And really? Iris, yeah, 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 she was, was yeah. yeah, because Bishop Owens had Livonia, right, 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 with the yeah. snatchback from yeah. Chicago. <laughs> yeah. I love Livonia. And then when we, when Bishop Patterson came in, he put uh, Professor Iris Stevenson. Yeah, and see, she's retired, so I don't, I don't know why, but Iris should have did that music. Yeah, yeah. Irish, Irish should have done, and you know that whole. I mean, they even did a CD. You know, Moses. I don't know, and see, I can't even. I don't even know. See, Mans, Mans Shahan. Uh, uh, I don't know who was on the organ. The whole mm. the whole thing was just <coughs> off. National or local? Because national musicians sounded better than the local. Whoever was, I think there was a difference. I've, I've heard a difference between service between services. I, I wish what you call it, Mance. Mance was his organist for years, mm. and he could he could have played either Mance or uh, uh, Daryl Blake, uh, yeah. Daryl uh, Blakely, Blakely, and then yeah. uh, Dar- what's his Dar- name? Blakely. What's his name from Toledo, Ohio? Uh, Oh God! Oh, Curtis Derek Blakely was on the piano. Kurt, was he? Curtis Daniel. Hmm. They Curtis said Derek Daniel was on is. The... I don't know. See, I didn't even hmm. see Dara, and I couldn't even see where the musicians were. I just and see Moses, my, they like I said, brought Moses in there. Was he Moses and uh, Moses and Lou? Never. I don't think they ever forgave each other. Oh. Over that, over that uh, DVD, that that tribute concert. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just I don't I don't. Mm-mm. But Moses is bad on that organ. He is. Now Moses is. Oh yes, that Moses Tyson is bad. Mm-hmm. That Moses, that Moses Tyson, and that Curtis Daniel. Curtis Daniel can change the whole atmosphere of a service. Yeah, because I remember one year at my church, we uh uh uh, what's that boy's name that prophesied Brian, all the time? Brian Corn. Brian Corn. He was just struggling, mm. baby. He flew he flew Curtis in the next day, and Ooh. we had to get him from the airport. And he had to walk right in and get on the organ. The whole atmosphere of the folks, uh, of the whole oh, thing Derek just changed. Jackson was on the piano. Okay. Who's Derek Jackson? He, he'd be playing at the National. I, I, yeah. Oh, I don't but know. He him. was at the local. Hmm. Something, just something, maybe, I don't know. I, it wasn't, it was not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't, it was, it was, mm-mm. 
It was just. Now you said it, it, Twinkie could have came, but she got to get permission from Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all so terrible. I don't know. Where were they? None of them. The only Clark was Karen. She Twinkie was the must one that was be there. still in Aruba spending Beyonce's money. I don't know, but are they still perform? Well, she was. Was she at? Uh, was she at her sister's thing? That's a good question. I don't know if I've seen any, because she wasn't at convocation, right? Twinkie. I saw J Jackie up there. I didn't see Twinkie. <clears throat> I just didn't even pay attention. I thought I was she I there? Jackie there. Oh, yeah. Jackie is there, because I think Jackie is Karen's adjutant. Oh, is she? Okay. I think so. Because mm. she's, al she's always with her. I can't remember. I can't remember if Twinkie was there or not. You're talking about the funeral or at the convocation? I'm talking about the convocation. Oh, I yeah. know I she wasn't Twinkie at the funeral. Twinkie was there. Mm -mm. And then Dorinda wasn't at the funeral because they said she was celebrating her anniversary somewhere. Yeah, but her anniversary was the week before, wasn't it? I don't know. Wasn't it on a Saturday night the week before? I, I don't know. Maybe they went somewhere for a week. Oh, she must have went on a vacation mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. I don't know. Because I don't, I don't keep up with them like that, so I have no idea. But all of that was, you know, all of that stuff, you, you, when you have somebody like Louise, that all of that stuff just stands out. Mm, yeah, now, it, it I really would have liked to, I would have liked to have seen Pamela Hines. I think Pamela Hines would have been a better expediter of the service than Catherine. Is that Daryl's wife? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think she would have been better. I'm just, you know, I, I want to get what Bishop shared with his eulogies. They just all run together for me. I, I don't know if it's the same template or I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why do you you why do you, you want me to get put out at the door? No, I, you just I love them. I love them, but I'm just like I don't know. I think that they, they have improved though. You think so? Mm-hmm. Mm okay. Yeah, where was Crystal Rucker? They could have called them Ruckers in. They could have called them I would have called some heavy hitters in. Beverly Crawford would have brought her back, have her holler a little bit. Yeah, but she's not Church of God in Christ. See, G. we needed some people. GE used to did have a come sing. <coughs> oh, did he? And she sung at his funeral. She sure did. At least Myrna she didn't sure. argue this this year, telling the choir that they wasn't right, singing the right note. Remember, like GEs, she told the choir to stop. That ain't right. Yeah, she did put on. She sure did. I right. wanted to hear Marvin and I Coach wanted to hear Peter. what you call should have they should we should have brought Sarah Jordan Powell out of retirement. Yeah. <laughs> and she's still alive. <laughs> That's I knew she was still alive. I don't know oh, she's don't still alive. Don't put Sarah don't put Sarah <laughs> Jordan Patterson in the uh but I just love so what were some of the comments? What were some of the people saying? Because uh, I, I know they talk were talking about a lot. Yeah, they were talk talking about now going back. I know somebody had mentioned that yeah, that's this money thing with uh, um, Morton. Morton don't want to relinquish that money. That what that's money he, is it? He, you know, he done set himself up. He retired, but, but that the offerings didn't retire from that from full gospel. They never going to just give it up like that. So I think mm. now it's you know uh, the COVID has lost all these preachers have lost their mind because they their funds are low. But his thing is just so insignificant. I'll never forget when um, when Bishop Ford told, said no, no, no. <laughs> he got up and hollered when that man was trying to come back into coaching. Yeah. And yeah. he was not. He was dead set, adamant, vehemently against it. And then for, he brought, and see, that's where we got all of this Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck Bishop. Right. 
because right. he went to making he went to making Lottie Dottie and everybody that would give him five thousand dollars. He went to consecrating them and making them bishops, and he's just made a mockery of the bishopric. Yeah, he did. He really did. It's just pitiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the question and that is, whole thing is just gonna collapse. Yeah, it really is. Like you said, it's on life support. You it's don't on hear life support. You know, and who cares? Who cares Full about it? Right, right. Yeah, who cares? Ooh, <laughs> go away. Ugh. It's so insignificant. It's, <laughs> it's so non consequential. That, that, First of all, why you, we why y'all even arguing about who's gonna be a bishop? But it don't even matter. Well, they the ones even, that started Mickey Mouse, as you say, Mickey Mouse adopted. That's when he, that's when he started. <laughs> he started it. He started that that whole that whole insignificant organization, a off brand, and they yeah. so off. Yeah. Like, have you ever just dealt with them? They off brand and they all. Yeah. All of those preachers yeah. are just off and <laughs> like crazy. Said, it's five, something just like. Child, it's something five, off five about churches. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little Sunday school class, little <laughs> missions. <laughs> Ooh, I just can't stand it. Who even says? Do they do they put the title that the, when you pass by the church is is full gospel <laughs> even on the sign? A lot of the churches I don't think say it. Yeah, because they don't want to be associated. Don't even want to be a part. Baby, they hurry up. I don't care what it what it is. If it's a storefront, they're gonna hurry up and put that C O G I C on there. Baby. Right, right. They're gonna put it <laughs> they gonna put it on there mm -hmm. with, with with a badge of honor and pride. That's a shame. It's, mm -hmm. It is. It's so sad and pitiful. <laughs> so they don't want that man. <laughs> what was the man's name that they don't want to be a bishop? What's the man's name? He don't want he don't want that man to be a bishop. Yeah, and who he was, was gonna jump who on is it? Who it's is the, it? Wait a minute, that boy Royal or whoever this person is, they just told us. Daquan, oh. Daquan or Deshaun oh. or Daquan something. And he don't want him to be a bishop. And I mean, he's hell bent against it. Okay, the man Royal Thompson. Royal Thompson then told us. <laughs> I'm trying to scroll back to see. You know, I ain't got my glasses on Mr. and I can barely see. Can you just tell us again in the comments. Oh, wait a minute. I think the man is on the day. Yeah. The is man that they don't want to be. <laughs> wait a What's minute. The man, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jaquan, 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 you are on here and Jaquan they fight DeAndre you. Williams? Again. Yes, I think, I think that's the man that they don't want to be a bishop. <laughs> Speak now, Faber, hold your peace, sir. Oh, that you? Oh my God, that's why he's on here laughing. That is the man. Mm. I figured they were trying to make Jamal Bryan a bishop or something weird like that. Well, what's what do up you with think him? about him wanting to sell? He wants he, to do cannabis. He wants to grow some weed at the church. I think he just. <laughs> I think he's just saying something controversial to make I know, people I'm so think. I'm tired of him trying to be Martin Luther King. Trying to <laughs> say, I really, I, he try, he says things for controversy. He wants to stay in the news cycle. I swear he does all this for clicks and views. I swear he does. You a pastor of the biggest, like you say, the one of the biggest churches and blah, blah, blah. But I he, think this man's name is Daquan. I think he is on this live and I want him to join the live and tell <laughs> us what's going on with him. And why no. they don't want him to, why Paul Martin don't want him to be a bishop. That man is on here, boy. They That's done it. let worse be bishops I'm in, in, in to full gospel. Now, let's be clear. I want to be a bishop. Make me a bishop. I ain't even got a church. And oh, you ain't be, got church. You a be a be a be a all right. <laughs> <laughs> most of them ain't got no churches. I'm going to be a bishop in Church of God of Christ, you watch my, you yeah. mark my words. I'm going to be one. You. I'm going to come to your installation. That's it, to my consecration when I be consecrated. Your consecrate, yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be consecrated in Memphis. He said, no, that's not the him. Word. 
Oh, he said that's not him. Mm -hmm. Well, what's the man's name? We need the Royal man's said. name. We need the man's <laughs> name. I'm trying to go back through these comments and see what he said. Mm. That is you. That is he, you. He said it ain't him. That's See him, he just don't want to be. He just uh, he, he don't want to be on live. Okay, wait a minute. What is uh? Okay, I'm gonna ask Roy. Modern what's the man's Reverend name? Jesse Jackson. He want to be Reverend Jesse Jackson. Oh, stop talking about my Morehouse brother mm -hmm. like that. I, I like. I mean, I I don't dislike Jamal. He's he's fine. You know, he's fine with me. I don't care. But it just seems like he says things to really just get in the news, and it's a little tiring. It's a little too much sometimes. Yeah. Hoops have. I don't know how I forgot this name that uh, I said, I'm asking him. What is his name? Yeah, I, I, you know, I think that maybe the whole tactic of, um, um. You know, of being controversial and yeah. and you know trying to attempt to make people think. Now, right. the only part that I'll be honest with you, the part that kind of troubled me about the whole entire statement was that he kind of, whether he didn't realize it or not, he kind of called out black men. Yeah. You know, he kind of made it seem like black men or, you know, we all smoke weed. You know. Well, I can tell you this. Don't go in some musician pits at these churches. You, all you don't smell is weed. I had to tell a musician that used to play with for me, could you not smoke until after we finish? And when it just it stinks so bad, yeah. and it's it, it it be down in the in in in, in their pores, yeah. and I just think it's oh, I think it's just hair. oh my god, it's yeah. just horrible. Yeah. And then it just and when I when I go home to California, you can just smell it in the air. It's just it's just engulfed. Yeah, and then they and send, you, and then you can be at you can be at at, at high end. We, I was staying at the Ritz Carlton mm -hmm. connected to the JW Marriott and they was out there and you could just smell the mm -hmm. marijuana. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just can't. You go to Denver and it's just in the, it's just in the air. Well, I, I'm in California, so it's everywhere. It's everywhere <clears throat> here. You... It was just terrible. Yeah. Now, I'd rather smell that than um, than cigarettes, but yeah. Yeah, they, they got their medical card, shouting Gail. Everybody got a card. They can get a card right off. A friend of mine just printed off a card off of uh, the internet. I'm like, what What ailments you got again? Oh, my back or something. I said, oh, okay. All right. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's horrible. I can't even take it. But I don't, I'm, I don't know. I don't I. Yeah, drummers, mm. church drummers. That's all they do is smoke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they it's smoke and screw. <laughs> oh, I can't even. And you know stand them, Oak, them Oakland uh, 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 musicians are too much for me. They, they oh yeah, them. yeah, like Isaiah, my little nephew with his bad self. He look, uh, that's all he do is mm -hmm. go, and then they go outside and smoke mm -hmm. weed. Mm -hmm. They gonna mm -hmm. go outside in between the service and smoke a joint and then yeah. come back in. But you know, mm -mm. But what ain't no different than the Baptists going out after they sing and go to the, over there and smoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I've never been Baptist. See, I wouldn't even, I don't even go to Baptist funerals. <laughs> right. I don't it, even go to, TV. I think the last Baptist funeral <clears throat> I went to was Carl, uh, Carl Anderson over there oh, okay. at uh, St. John. Mm. Mm, that's, I think that's the last yeah, one I've been. Because if you're going to keep me at a funeral for three hours or more, I need you to really be doing something. Mm -hmm. I just have no Baptist fit. I need a real one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, um, so we talked about that. We uh, talked about um, Derek Hutchins. So what do you think about Spreewell being put out of this church already? Well, that was funny because... Um... Oh, what you call it, Mark, uh uh MDL Clark asked me, am I going to Orlando? next week 
<laughs> What's in Orlando? That's where Derek Hutchins funeral. Oh, was the funeral. You going up? You ain't going. Don't go. Send your <laughs> send your, send your uh, condolences. Send your condolences. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna my resolution. I'm gonna make a resolution. resolution. I need to start making a resolution. Uh, sending a resolution. Make sure they read it. This is from the ob obnoxious television. <laughs> obnoxious media, Sir William McCray. There you Where go. Ass. There you go. Mm hmm. Yeah. Send my resolution. Job. Who got a whole husband? He says he got a. He treated you like he. Who got a whole husband? He's somebody shouting, yeah, who you talking about? Oh, yeah. yeah. James Cleveland always had a cigar and some cognac, you know. Well, that's why he, he sounded like that. It was an old molester child. Don't tell me nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this, this is like I was sharing with somebody. This stuff ain't nothing new. I, I'm, I was PW, our Bishop, Bishop McMurray, you know. Oh, Noel Jones took over his church. Greater Bethany. Be Greater Bethany. Oh yeah. The community church. He used to be drunk. He used to. He had. Was a, he a drunk? Was bar. he a drunk? Yeah. Bless his heart. But he, he could preach the hell out of you, baby. Oh, he can preach, and that choir was gonna sing you to death. Hey, Jonathan Green. Hey, was wait a minute. Who was that? P A W. Uh, <laughs> you remember First Apostolic of Inglewood? First Apostolic. What was that? What was Bishop Wanda's Wayne uh, name? With? But baby, Wanda he that Wayne. nigga hit him in the head with a hammer at the show did. Show did. <laughs> Woo, he was out there at the park trying to have. Yeah. He got him killed, baby. That nigga hit him in <laughs> bam. Woo, could you imagine a whole hammer going? <laughs> yes, he did. Mm -hmm. First app used to hop though. It used oh, to yes, hop they down did. The the, the, ooh, and Wanda would be preaching with them hats on. Uh-huh. She told me, she said, hey, she said, McCray, she sat down. She said, she sat on the steps when they killed that man. She said, I don't know what we going to do now. And then the new man she married put her out of her own church. Wasn't that I terrible? Mean, put her, wasn't that Weeks? Yeah. No. No. That was, um, what Turner. was that man's name? Turner. She married because she loved gay men. She <laughs> married another gay man. <laughs> Some women just do, William. Some women yeah, just Yeah, they do. just like gay men. They like that homosexual Yeah, his last name was Turner. And she married another gay one, and now and he put her ass out. And now got a new woman sitting up there, and they still got their church. Do they? And she lives here now. Is she there, or is she L.A.? Because she's with her sister, her daughter, right? She's with, uh, what's Well, her last name? I knew she was living in Atlanta. Okay, I think she's then she then she had moved to Sacramento, and I believe she's. I thought she was with her daughter, unless her daughter lives in Atlanta now. Oh, I don't know. At the last I knew, she was in, she was here in Atlanta because she preached over there at Angelique's church. But that's been a few years ago, yeah. so I don't know. <laughs> like how you said, they but got she was just so displaced when that man put her ass. Out. I mean, he put was, her. He uh, was. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, Ray Bishop. She's in L.A. They got that uh, charity Greenleaf uh, spirit. Yeah, unfortunately, they they want them. Oh, in. so she's back in yeah. LA. Well, she was here for a little while. Yeah, she was yeah. here. You know, everybody comes to <clears throat> Atlanta. Yeah, but she's gotten older now, and she yeah. was at New Birth. That's exactly right. I know. I know what I'm talking oh, about. Ray she Bishop, was at New I Birth. Tell you, okay. Thank you for your for your confirmation. I know yeah. she. I yeah. know she had a ass here. <laughs> <laughs> when that man put her out of, she called him a such and such but she Wanda could preach Wayne Davis was the only one that laid me out in the spirit Just that I, I was gone the only one that was that foul demonic spirit that had attacked you <laughs> I, I felt it I felt that it thing. Had I felt you. It. Hey, have you ever been have Matthew Stevenson ever had laid hands on you no oh, mm -mm. good Good, you haven't been contaminated. <laughs> and he look a little spooky now. He done lost a lot of weight. He, he wearing them old Egyptian clothes. Well, Bernard, you see Bernard and uh, your uh, best buddy, Juanita, laid hands on him the other day. And they put the, the prayer robe around him. Caught, and they, around and they, who? Around 
Matthew Stevenson. They was in New York. They was Juanita. Probably and... trying to get that demonic <laughs> spirit up off them. <laughs> See, they all start going when they getting ready to die. You know, they all start going to Bernard so he can call in them witches from uh, <laughs> Africa. Try, baby. I, uh, T, no, uh, what was the no, man's no, name? She, Eddie yeah. Long didn't believe in speaking in tongues, honey. He was speaking Until in tongues got ready to and die. everything else when he was getting ready to right. die. <clears throat> called in, called in uh, uh, Bernard Jordan. They went over there to Honduras, or over in Africa somewhere, mm. and he mm. was dealing with them. So I, I said, slap that nigga in his chest <laughs> and, and call the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I remember that he was up there shouting. I remember he was thin as a rail up there trying to shout. I said, oh, he trying. He, he trying. He was trying to live, baby. Mm -hmm. He was fighting to live. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You Did you remember <laughs> that girl? That girl, when he died, she went to new birth and took her whole ass out and bent over and took a picture at the new birth sign. And said that he was dead and he could kiss her behind. <laughs> Who was this? <laughs> it was, was this? some little demonic heifer. I don't know who she was. Ooh, and that picture circled around and circled around. Because she mm. thought it was so awful that he had been, you know, molesting her children. That's yeah. Mm. It was awful. She showed did. <laughs> I'll never forget. They was uh, th that used to be on the internet. If you go Google it, Google it. It's on yeah, there. Have to Google that. Yeah, it's on there. Let me see if I can find it for you. Show y'all with that girl. She showed this. She told the world. Thing. She told. Hey, she told the world. Mm. I'm trying to figure out. If <laughs> I think this man Daquan. Daquan. I think that's you. <laughs> That they don't that want to him. see a bishop. He said it's not him. That, that, is, that is him. Yeah. Now, okay. uh, you could be a bishop. Coquan, De DeAndre Williams, call you the right reverend. Right. Let me see if you look, let me see if you look bishop. Does he look bishop? Like Does he look like he's part of the bishopry? Yeah. Let me, let me Does he see. look saintly? Does let he look sanctified? See. You got to. Got to walk a certain way. Let me see. Ku Kwan. Well, we're going to have to change your name, too. You're going to be a bishop. Yeah, we're going to have to take that. Con that we gonna, well, we're going to call him Q. We're going to call him QD. Mm. QD, Bishop QD Williams, you know. He got Claire That's how we'll do Eddie. that. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. He's not another bishop. No, no. We're not going to ordain him. You good. <laughs> he can't be consecrated. Oh, no, we not already done the term. Thank you, brother. You all right? We not gonna charge you the fee. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, you all right. What did he have on his page? He just got some pictures and stuff. He oh, out of geez. Memphis though. He over there in Memphis. Oh, see that? Oh yeah, he, he, he know all the really business ain't no out good. there at, at, at Memphis. Uh, he he ain't no good at all. He friends with Thais. Oh, is he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he ain't no good if he out of Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> Can't nothing good come out of Memphis. They, they, mm -mm, we not we buried everything not good that. the other day. We buried everything good out of Memphis. I used to have that picture of that girl. I'm sure you got it in your find... catalog. I know. See, there's so much stuff over there. You gonna have to, you know. I'm gonna have to catalog all of that. We are gonna have to go through, <laughs> so I can I can pull up something at right, real. right there, right there, mm, immediately, mm -hmm, straight mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. like the Bible straight said. Right. They said straight way they went. Say what you want, Daryl Walls? Got it. Boom, boom. What you want? <laughs> then then yeah, immediately, oh, right, right, right. Let's get because see, you know, I have excellent recall. Y'all, I've been on here two and a half hours. I need y'all to send some money. Oh, yeah. I need y'all to give me some, app send the cash app and send some Zales. Mm -hmm. I didn't spend all my money going up there to see about Lou. Yeah. I need y'all to, but I need y'all to re bless. Re yeah, I need y'all to help me. I Pastors to... ask their saints to send them, so they, we asking y'all. Right. <clears throat>
That's it. I need yeah. some help. I need you to help me. Oh, yeah. Come on, oh, my pass is on here. Dr. Uh, Chad Lawson Cooper is on here. He got plenty of money. I need you to bless me, Dr. Uh, yeah. Dr. Cooper. Chad Lawson Cooper. Who else is on here? Pass oh. the buckets. That's right. Yeah, get the buckets. Close the doors. Close the doors, ushers. Close, That's it. Oh, doors. we lock them. We lock them. <laughs> we lock them. That's it. You ain't no moves unless you coming down you, to the bathroom. Ain't no moving unless you coming to the altar. That's right. That's and it. No That's, amen. Y'all got to come. Y'all got to help like me. My, I need you to help late, me. One of my pastors, my my, my main pastor, Bishop H.L. John, she used to say, and, 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 you know, disobedience is as witchcraft. That's it. Now, we done, asked, <laughs> we done told you to. <laughs> to sow, <laughs> don't be no that witch. That is no it. See, I like today. all of that. I like <laughs> oh, all of that. It was a mess. <laughs> oh, I like all of that. You know, that's the thing. That's like how all the most sanctified uh, preachers. You know, they scare you. Think God getting ready to kill you in the next ten, oh, fifteen yeah. minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you giving all your rent money, your PG and E money? Everything. That's it. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You got to give. You, you got to give, give until it hurts. Want to receive? You gotta give. Ah, it's more. The Bible how says it's more blessed to got, give than it is to receive. Got to ask. That's it. Let's get to <laughs> counting. Let's get to counting because you know we don't reach a quota. I gotta go another. I gotta go up some more time. <laughs> mm, I'm mm, telling mm. you, I so we spent money. Do you know that they charged us? The Sheraton is a dump. It should be dilapidated. <laughs> that Sheraton in Memphis downtown. I don't stand it no should be. They do you know they were charging us um, with taxes? It was two hundred dollars a night for sisters to lose family. At the Sheraton. At the Sheraton. <clears throat> they must have heard what was coming. See, everybody wanted to go back to Memphis. Let's go back to Memphis. Go back to. But Bishop Blake took you out of Memphis because Memphis was gouging the same. The Lodabar. He yeah. took us up out of bondage. And they want to go right back to bondage. Come on. Oh, we terrible. glad to be back in Memphis. Y'all so church brained. It's so ridiculous. Mm -mm. But I we was can go and see Bishop Mason on on April at the April call meeting. Right. Come to the right. April call meeting once a year mm -hmm. and then we could mm -hmm. our, our convocation could travel like our other meetings travel just travel i can't stand yeah. me at memphis and it's a different kind of dumb spirit in that city yeah. and i mean oh it's just oh i just can't tell they killed dr king now Taisa, there's 25 people in this chat that can sow a seed of a hundred dollars i'm I, yes sir i believe you there's 25 of y'all yes. in here that can sow a seed of a hundred dollars it sure is. It would be a blessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had me in the poll house. I had to go up there and spend. That was four hundred four hundred dollars for those uh, for just two nights. And then I rented the van. I rented the van, and then the people didn't even come in like mm -hmm. I thought they were. So it it wasn't yeah. as many rides. It yeah. was just. I, it, uh, I saw them seats. I'm I'm like, can't be that many riders there. Mm -mm. They said it, it was dollars for parking at the convocation. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. mm. $33 to valet. And then the people that was working the valet, you don't know if they work in the valet or if they going to rob right. because they don't even have no uniforms on. They look like trash <laughs> walking up, talking about, I need your key. I said, hey, you need my key. Or you, if you steal this van, you could, you know, I didn't, I didn't even know. Mm. Rita Womack. Yeah. Has anybody, J Jelani says, has anybody checked on her? Where's Rita Womack? I don't know. The last time I knew anything, she was living in Bakersfield with some with right. some boy who was supposed to be her son. But she stopped taking my calls, so I stopped. I don't call and 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 deal with nobody that don't want to deal with me. And that's so. so I haven't really talked. I haven't talked to Rita since Bishop Blake took her down. Is the as the thing? I guess. I guess she okay. I can't worry about it. I don't know. Uh, this only I have no man. idea. I don't call nobody if i call you two or three times 
and you don't think enough of me to return my phone call, then you don't want to talk to me. You don't want to be bothered with me. So I'm going to let you not be bothered. I think you told me that if I knew of where she was or whatever, and I guess that bishop or whoever she was dealing with sends me a message. <laughs> he was like, oh, he I did. heard y'all was looking for me on the live. I'm like, yeah, we was looking for it because she was supposed to be, he was supposed to be our godson or something. And he lived in Bakersfield or something, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, Bakersfield. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She was homeless so. in L.A. What was she homeless? <laughs> <laughs> homeless. <laughs> Child, Rita's too mean as hell to ever been homeless. I don't know, but she was having them strokes. Mm. She had like two or three strokes or something. So I don't know. Mm. I don't know, Ben, then, and, that, and then they said something about she was wandering around and didn't know who she was yeah. or where she was or something. So I don't know. Mm. I have no idea, like, because that sounded like dementia or something to me. Yeah. That's what, you know, dementia all the time is something. Yeah, something was going on. But she'd she be so high on all them different medications. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, Maria like Gardner, I said, she up I, in the Bay Area. She got some Maria church in the Bay Maria Area. Maria lives in Antioch. Antioch, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she sh should have been at the funeral. You would think. As much as Gilbert <laughs> preached her. Right, right. She wasn't there? Doubt it. I didn't see her. I didn't see her post anything. I know she posted about the funeral because I, I follow her on Instagram. But I didn't. I didn't see her there. Oh, really? Yeah. But you know, her back and stuff be hurting so bad. Yeah, she be, she's on a cane, I know. Oh, well, we'll probably never see her again no. then. <laughs> no. <laughs> she gonna be right there. See, when they start getting them afflictions like that, see, they go, we won't see her again until she in her casket. <laughs> uh, she's on Renee a cane. Come and, and be the exhorter. Rebuilt the church that burned down. Oh, yeah, she did. There was a whole scandal behind that church, though, that Maria Gardner is in. Wasn't there a whole little scandal about that? No, the her husband. Okay. Mm. Bishop, Bishop W. Wilbert Wyatt Hamilton's father had that church mm. in San Francisco. That's where they were from. Mm -hmm. His baby sister, Ruth, uh, Lyons, uh, Ruth Hamilton, that married Bishop Langston. Mm -hmm. Okay, when Bishop Langston was made a bishop by Yvette Flander, when he when they got in that organization, that homosexual organization that Yvette had, mm -hmm. Bishop mm -hmm. Wilbert Wyatt Hamilton went over and padlocked his daddy's <laughs> church. <laughs> <laughs> and so baby sister <laughs> took Bishop Hamilton to court and a white judge <laughs> awarded the church to Ruth Langston uh -huh. who was Bishop Wilbur Wyatt Hamilton's baby sister she won the church in court <laughs> she died <laughs> And Bishop Langston married Maria. Right. But before, mm -hmm. uh, after he married Maria, Moses Tyson's brother, mm -hmm. Bernard Tyson, bought the church for $10 million. From... Okay, yeah. He bought the church from Elder Langston for $10 million because you remember Bernard Tyson used to be the CEO of Kaiser Permanente. Right, and I remember that. They wanted to tear the church down and make a parking lot because they had built a Kaiser across the street from the church. And Maria and Elder uh, uh, Elder Langston 
got the church and bought a church in Antioch and bought that big mansion out there in Antioch, but he would send a 52 passenger bus to San Francisco and bus his members in. Mm. And then he died and Maria got all the money. And see, mm. Yvette Flander was suing Maria. Yeah, because and then, that's and then some girl contacted me and said that they thought of Maria God and killed kill them. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, so I told the girl, I said, girl, why would you say that? That woman ain't killed that man. <laughs> and see, she got all of them. <laughs> she she got all of knew them. It was time to marry him because he was right. Like, but was see, that 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 wasn't gonna let her just walk away with all that money without putting did, up a did fight. Did she get it? Did she get any of the money? I, I've i been trying to find out because I think they settled out of court. Oh, okay. Okay. Then she yes, must have got no money then. If they settled I out of I think she court. got some of that change because see, yeah. see that, that, that man spirit and Yvette wasn't going to get up and just let, you ain't gonna let him, him, my, uh, I don't Maria know. just walk away with that money like mm. Mm -mm. Mm. See, I be knowing what I be talking about. I don't just be on this talk. Guessing and, and, and assuming. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, mm -hmm. no, no. See, Marie, baby, what you call it? I think Maria had to give you that some of that money. Mm. She probably had to give her about three or four million. At least. At least. Yvette, Yvette never Cause... looked like she hurting her and Shirley. Oh, that's a love, ain't it? That's First Lady Shirley Miller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they was with, Ooh, my... you know, what you call did a thing. And Carolyn, Carolyn, that girl had Carolyn saying, uh, don't wait till the battle's over. Shot now. Oh, see, that's all, that's all in Walter Hawkins' crew. We going to London. She said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's Carolyn. Yeah, that's Carolyn. That's Carolyn King, baby. That's Carolyn King. We're going to uh, uh, Donald is doing the conference in London in April. Edwin Hawkins, Music and Arts Global. Well, who's going to be going over there? Listen, gospel is who's, huge. Who's Donald? Donald Lawrence. He's t he took over uh, the conference, Music and Arts. For Edwin. Well, I thought they was just getting ready to have something the fifty year celebration that's, in uh in that's Love Center doing that. That ain't got nothing to do with Donald. That's Deshaun and Love Center. Who's the pastor of Love Center now? That's a good question. Because they had some dyke uh, that they had given it to. Some is. They gave it to a lot of people. But I think it kind of looks like Lynette Hawkins Stevens is acting like the pastor over there. Oh, please, <laughs> no, please. She don't know her name or social security number. <laughs> You're not going to talk about my Hawkins while I'm on this live here. Yeah, I love her, but I ain't never known her to be no preacher. Well, everybody becomes a preacher when it needs to when they become when a preacher. When somebody dies. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Everybody want to get Everybody want to get a revelation. Bless you got to get them checks when, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a preacher now. I'm a preacher. If my mm. daddy was a preacher, They should have kept, what's her name, and Tremaine. Where is Tremaine? She's in Sacramento. Tremaine lives in Sacramento. She's a nurse now, ain't she? She ain't no nurse. She's still running around. She, who's she going to nurse? She need a nurse. No, she's still running around singing. Oh, I love Tremaine. No, Jamie, Jamie was never... Well, he was a member of Love Center. He was pastor for two minutes, and then he left. Well, Love see, Center. Edwin put him out. Well, Edwin went. Yeah. Ed, Edwin and they all. He took all them people to his lordship for uh, brunch and plotted on putting his own uh, nephew out because, see, you know, uh, uh, Jamie get what's the boy's <coughs> name. Jamie. See, he wanted all that. Yeah, he wanted all that homosexual spirit to come out. He, has, he was going, and see, that's the thing. That's the same thing Kenny Mose did. See, right. see, Kenny Mose tried to stomp out that homosexual spirit, mm -hmm. but that's what mm -hmm. that that's what that church was founded on. Right, right, right. 
And you can't, you they, Love Center was founded on um, inclusion and, 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 you know, everyone is accepted. Oh, and you can't. Yeah, all- love and accept. But you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. Even though Walter was for all of that, Walter had an experience and an encounter with God before right. the end. And I I mean, his preaching, his style, everything mm-hmm. changed. Mm-hmm. He really had, mm-hmm. I don't know if it was after he got diagnosed with cancer or whatever, yeah. because, you know, a lot of times people change once they know they're going to die. Right. But it was something that really, he really had an encounter. I liked Walter. Me too. I really did. I, I met him. And I brought him here. To he could him. preach. He could. He could preach. He had. He had a good message. He really had a good message. Mm-hmm. I met him in two thousand nine. He was good. We were, good. Yeah. And then that cancer just ripped through his body. Very good. Fast. Very fast. It did. And then what you call Kenny Moe stood up there and told that lie, and the Lord killed him. I think in ninety days. <laughs> Wait, because well, yeah, because he said something at the funeral, right? What did right, he said he said he said that if God or something be form or whatever or whatever, and evidently it wasn't God because he was out of here. He was gone. He had that massive heart attack. He sure did and died. And Kenny then lost everything. His uh, his daddy and Are they, still in the they lost it all. They like he lost it all, all in one whop. The house, the the properties, just everything, just gone. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. Peggy and uh, Bishop Mose didn't even build nothing. Wow, that is amazing. That is awful. That's awful. Mm-hmm. Well, he so he tells so many lies. I hate it. He's my morals brother, but he he tells <laughs> he tells so many lies. <laughs> and I told him. I told him, I said, you can't lose Peggy's church. Mm. And honey, when the uh, when them folks, when the news anchors was up there, he started crying. And I said, ooh, I just couldn't even tell you. <laughs> and what's his name? Got plenty of money. Uh, and Hezekiah, I mean, Hezekiah wouldn't even help him. Well, you don't, you don't want to, I mean, you going to throw a, a, a pail of water on a burning building? Why? Mm. It, it, you bail them out. That's like the, I heard the church in my old church in San Jose was in foreclosure. But somebody said, yeah, they can go and pay for it, but they don't have the money to keep it. They'll be in foreclosure again in a year or two. Mm. So why? I, I'm, I'm with Hezekiah. No, no, no. Because the fact of the matter is these people take up these churches of their of their fathers, but they're really not anointed to be pastors. Right. See, he he could not he could not keep, and he didn't have the engagements that Bishop Mose had to be able to keep that building like that. I think some Mexicans got it now. Mm. They will come in and snatch a church. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All of that. <laughs> they, like they got my old church. Like cucaracha. Yes, they be will. A, I didn't even know it was Mexicans <laughs> in uh, committee. <laughs> yeah, because Ray Bishop said, and I remember that sitting there. He did prophesy that Jamie would be the pastor, and you know, he he and the prophesied. Lord killed him. Yep. It almost mm-hmm. immediately. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just, you we better be careful with what you say. Oh, God. God. He sure did say it. And I remember I, uh, that the baby day, the Tremaine stood up and said, <laughs> the first lady is back. <laughs> baby, they hurried up and had got her the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Not back up in here. Honey, when, I, when, they knew, when I knew anything, Jamie was having a Bible study at his grandma's restaurant down there right. on uh, in North Oakland at Lois the Pie Queen. And Lois the Pie, Pie Queen. Mm. Yes, that was that was his grandma. Yeah. Yeah. That was mother that was uh Mama Reem's mama, Lois the Pie Queen. Right. She could cook mm. and her and uh Mama Reem's uh, brother kept that restaurant going. It's still going, right? I just never mm-hmm. been. Oh yeah, Lois the Pie Queen is good. I'm gonna go. Yeah, you gotta go over there. 
Mm. Her brother still got that restaurant. They had uh, good soul food. Mm. But Jamie was over there having Bible study and stuff. You know, Jamie, I've listened to him. I love Jamie. I love, you know, but I don't know if he has it. Question. Oh, bless his heart. Not sure. Give him a chance. Y'all ought to stop. Well, how many you years? Get each... But, you, you know, his, get... his wife is really sick, Sonny. Yeah, she's really, that cancer is like coming back and forth. Oh, really? His wife has cancer. Oh, yeah. Real bad. Mm -hmm. And you know they got six kids. Oh, they like to screw. Oh, they like to screw and screw often. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but they like step stairs. Oh, yeah. They just, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they got musical them. talent. And the funny thing about it, the kids are playing the piano, the drums, and guitars, and they're going to be some Hawkins now. Well, that's it. That was it. <laughs> First of all, you that they did what these folks are trying to do. They was doing it back in the 70s. Right. They was traveling right. internationally back in the 70s. Right. You know. I mean, their their imprint in gospel music is forever. And I don't know, we just don't do enough for Tremaine. I just love Tremaine. I do too. Tremaine want that envelope though. Tremaine ain't coming for you for two dollars. She wants that envelope. Mm -mm, baby, she's 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 been a high. She's been up in the thousands for years. Let me tell you what Tremaine did. And you remember when she had that Jew as her manager? And she needed to go get him because let me be quiet. <laughs> she had a Jew, baby, that was her manager. Mm. Tremaine was was Tremaine was like five to ten thousand dollars back in the day by herself. Yeah, and right now she's at <clears throat> she's she can about ten. You're not gonna get her for you know. It, between the <laughs> six and ten. I'm serious. I'm serious. You just say this about ten. Oh, so she's she's still high. Let me tell you, she came up here a few years ago. I booked her for, for a friend of mine who was having something, his anniversary for his choir. She came in, she came to the rehearsal. She you know, and you cannot have any air on. If you have air on, if you have any air on in your church or that building. She ain't gonna stay. She gone. She not even gonna negotiate with you. She gone. <laughs> that woman sat down there. She taught change to this choir. She called the husband called me and said, Chris, <clears throat> y'all have to air on in there. She ain't got no voice. She can't sing tomorrow. I said, All right. <laughs> I said, What? <clears throat> but I told the guy. They did have the air on, and I told him, I said, Tremaine ain't playing about her air. If that air conditioner is on in that church, she is not going to perform. Mm. She showed And see, so you know, that's how Luther Vandross was. Yeah, yeah. They don't, if they got some air condition, they're not playing with you. She I mean, and baby, you would just sweat with, you go see Luther Vandross, and sweat would just be rolling off mm -hmm. of you like mm -hmm. rain. And that's why he would be sweating the way he was. But that, oh, yeah, I didn't know that. And she, when I brought her here to a church, I was going. I did a, I she did like a, I brought her here for a, um, for a, a, a Good Friday concert, and she was up there. She must have asked like five times, Chris, is that air <laughs> on? <laughs> I was like, uh, 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 no, Lady Tremaine, the air's not. And then. The guy was running around trying to make sure the air. I said, this gets Chris, I think the air is on. I said. <laughs> <laughs> you sound just like her. Oh, she's very authoritative. She got oh, that yeah. spirit of Ernestine. See, baby, <laughs> Ernestine. Right. Ernestine didn't play no <laughs> games, baby. Wait a minute. And, and then the, the musician turned on that click track. She uh, said, excuse me, what is that? She said, no, 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 I don't do that. Uh-uh, turn it off. <laughs> and and this used with the drummer. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Stop. That's it. That's it. And she's very authoritative. Very. Mm -hmm. Tremaine don't mm -hmm. play and still don't. No. No. 
but, but, but at that the level of talk. talent and gift, you don't you're you're not supposed to. Right. Yeah, Aretha was like that too. You didn't turn no air on. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Oh. Who cares with Aretha <laughs> and, and that whole last that whole last year? She remember she was running around with her teeth out and stuff. I couldn't even understand. <laughs> with a fur off. Yeah, with ball gowns and Sorry, teeth. I couldn't even understand. I couldn't even comprehend. <laughs> <laughs> then a Darrell with a fur on and no teeth. Come on, Aretha. <laughs> Who let you out the house? The house was like Rita. this, and why are you all over the country in this bus without no without no teeth in your mouth? Who I care not stand you? taking pictures with Ricky Dillon and stuff. So just <laughs> <laughs> looking like a got to go. I say he got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just where me out. Well, I raised plenty of hell tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, you did. You yeah. raised it. You walked through the valley of the shadow of death and you raised up the dead. That's it. But you know oh, what? They're going to talk it, about it. They're going to, they gonna, uh, what is it, chop it down? And yeah. Everything else. They gonna, oh, yeah. They gonna, yeah, they're going to do it. It's going to be on TikTok -tock <laughs> and everything. <laughs> on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I wish y'all would get that TikTok -tock page taken down because that's not me. They send me messages on there. I'm like, I just, I know it ain't you. I'm like, y'all, y'all too much. Stop it. Stop it. It is. Oh my gosh. But you know what? They have to do that to be relevant. They have to talk about the sir. They have yeah. to talk about the Duke. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to oh, pay for thank that. you, Adrian. She's having a little bit of a video. All right. Thank you, Lord. Right. She said, yeah, "Thank God off. for Adrian." Eh? No, 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 my Sunday. <coughs> Thank you. I'm gonna send the love offerings in, y'all. That's There's it. The, <laughs> the, the I'm the Ooh, the see, I'm gonna see. I'll right. be an old sanctified priest. I think I'm gonna start me a church. <laughs> you might as well. I think when I am. But see, I'm going to be one of them strict pastors. When I tell you to sit down and shut up, that's what I mean. I want you to sit down. <laughs> I want you to be quiet. I see. grew up in San Jose under Bishop T.A. Price. I've seen the men throw, have men lifted up the, on the air and throw them out of the church. The, out of the church. That's it. <laughs> That's it, baby. I've seen it all. Oh, I've seen it all. I was, yeah. Oh, they didn't play no game. No. And see, they were sanctified. They didn't play no games. If you didn't, mm -hmm. if you didn't come subject, that was it. You sent a hundred dollars, Thais. Is that what you're saying? Amen. Praise the Lord. Wonderful. We thank God. Who is this? Oh, Janice said, I was drawing your storefront church. I ain't going to have no storefront uh -uh, church. We getting a real building. We're going to have a real building. I'm going to have a cathedral. and I'm going to have a building that was <laughs> a church for real. It wasn't going to be nothing that was transformed into no mm -mm. church. Mm -mm. They be in all these buildings and all these strip malls and stuff. Oh, the devil is a lie. Right. If Dwayne Dawkins got a church, we going to have one. He is a whole oh, porn yeah. star. A whole porn star. But I think he went on and gave up his church for... Uh, uh -uh. He, well, he just had a service in Atlanta. You didn't go to the service he had? Uh -uh. He had a gathering at the Cupcake Place last week. At the Cupcake Place? Yeah, the Cupcakery or something. He had a he had like a, 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 a thing. He was up there teaching and preaching and carrying on. Yeah, he's trying to start his church. It ain't nothing that he could preach and teach. A cupcake, that sounds like he was having something at a porn place or something. What was it? <laughs> Please. He was looking for cupcake. Cupcake. Uh -uh. He liked that's cup a sign. And but see, and he knew that boy that because that, that's the boy's name, Fat Cat or Fat Back or something like that. He was looking for some. And then he gonna have a service or something like that and and name that. See, he ain't he ain't uh, he ain't learned his lesson yet. No. no. Yeah, he was at the cupcakery. He was getting some. He wanted some more cakes. Uh, he wanted all. The uh, see, through. that's that that foul demonic <laughs> spirit is consumed. Damn. They, See, it's to set up a it's to set up full habitation mm -hmm. in him. It just mm -hmm. took him over. Yeah, Trey. He loves cakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and knew that boy was recording him. He did that willfully. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he did, did that. About, uh, that was supposed to be for his pleasure. He wasn't supposed to put it out. That boy oh, took please. It, pay me or you let me put it on my OnlyFans. That's what he the did. The boy was on the, the, the thing. The boy only would would let him screw if he was able to record. Right. That right. was his contingency. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So try try something else. Try lying about something. Mm -mm. Else. Come up with another mm -hmm. with another mm -hmm. thing. Cause see that's not we're not buying that. Yeah. What'd you do? Did you freeze? Yeah. Somebody calling you? Uh uh. No, I was trying to send y'all this thing. There we go. <laughs> yes, Lord. All right. <laughs> well, Reverend, we gonna go on because y'all know you got to get up and go to work and things. I, I, I do. Got to get up and work in the morning. <clears throat> in the right, morning, I, when I rise in the morning, in the morning. When I rise, I'm going to rise with Jesus. <laughs> That's how sophisticated Ernestine used to be. She Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> I, oh, I miss Ernestine Cleaver Reeves. I miss her. Yeah, I remember. They said Bishop Timothy Clark let him go. Let who go? I don't know. Who uh, let Hawkins go? Or who? Oh yeah, they put his yeah. they put him out. I remember Timothy Clark. He came here to preach one time. Could he preach? He's a big old heavy set dark skinned big, man. Yeah, man. yeah. He 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 was a good yeah. Yeah, he was and good. See, I know they had to put him out of that church because he had a lot of Jamaicans and Haitians. So I know that mm -hmm. they probably had a problem. Oh, Charlie, could you imagine? I couldn't even dis I couldn't even deal with seeing my pastor's whole naked body on the internet. That would just I mean <laughs> everything about him. I, yeah, I couldn't I don't think I could sit under you no more. Oh no. I don't even think I could handle mm -mm. it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, baby. You know what they penis look like and know how he act know how his body gyrate when he getting ready to ejaculate. Yeah. Ooh. Child, it's you just know, some I, things it, that shouldn't even be named <laughs> among them. You brethren. know what? And I don't judge nobody and what they like, but why you didn't put a rubber on? Put a condom on. I, that's mm, my they thing. Wanted, they want it raw, yeah. baby. <coughs> raw. You put no condom on. Just And there. then they want you to think about their wife and kids. <laughs> Hell, you wasn't thinking about them. Why am I supposed to think about them? Then he get online you talking about sending my wife some cash apps. What? Yeah. I'm gonna send my wife some cash apps. Right. No. Tell fact. Well, somebody cash need to cash app and slap the hell out of you. And 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 ooh, it was just horrible with yeah. an amateur porn. Yeah. And then you know what you call and uh uh what you call uh Keon uh met that boy. Yeah. And was talking to him at the gas station. Hmm. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that to collapse. Him and Shining. You didn't see they new show, just... they new shows on on VH1. Isn't that sad? <laughs> mm. Mm, it's sad. I there's think it's horrible. App. Oh, there's the Cash App. There is. I'm not out of our shot, Lord. Everybody, follow me here and on YouTube and TikTok. Yeah. St. James TikTok. Saint That's James. it. That's all right, it. William. Well, all right, y'all. Well, I thank you. Later, later. Bye, everybody. Have a good evening. Oh, that shows See a hot tomorrow. minute. I watch it. I taped it, so I'm going to go watch it. All right. <laughs> oh. All right. All right, y'all. I want to thank everyone for logging in and watching and all of that. <laughs> share. I want you to share my um, my live on your page. Let all your friends and 
people know about Sir William. And I will um, most likely see y'all again on tomorrow night. I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. All right. Good night. <laughs>